I do. I was there. Sorry for the wait, audience. Our uh, hostess decided it would be a good idea to warm up her voice before the stream started. Instead of hitting the live button. Or <laughs> doing it after she hit the live button. God damn, you, you see what condition we're all in? She has no hindsight and we all suffer for it. Yeah, I, I know. Anyways, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Y'all doing bad? Y'all doing anxious? I'm doing pretty anxious. Oh, that's every stream. But yeah, holy shit. It's good to see you all. Sorry for it taking so long again, but my god. Oof. We're back on this shit. I'm a little nervous to go into this, especially after the, um... <clears throat> especially after what happened in the last trial, but you know what? We'll fi it's fine. It's pretty on par for Danganronpa, except it actually... Except it actually... Uh, y you see why... <laughs> This is why you warm up before you do anything, kids, because, my God, you turn into a, a muttering mess like me. Also, yeah, my, uh, take a look at this. My sister did my hair. She did a really good job. She did a little braid, a little bow. Two bows, actually. Two bows, actually. <clears throat> God, sorry for the, for the frantic start, folks. I am not usually... I'm not usually this unprepared. And this is coming from the last stream where I had to restart the entire com my entire computer just so I can get everything up and running properly. I am so sorry. I usually <laughs> uh, a little more nervous than usual today because I usually don't have. Uh... I thought I would be able to catch the whole stream, but my early classes started today of fall days. Good luck with Kokichi. Thanks, Rantaro. <laughs> Sorry, I, mean, I usually don't start a stream with this many people, so I'm, my nerves are a little shot. Um, sorry about that, but good luck with your classes, Rantaro. <sighs> I believe we had to do... I believe last stream we had the last real key and the real last key. As for where... I know where one of them goes, so as for the other one, I haven't got a goddamn clue, so... To the top floor! Who? Everything's fine? Yeah, everything's fine. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry again. Sorry a third time. It's a lot of apologizing this stream. That's... <laughs> uh, God damn it. That's what I've been reduced to. A, a, a rambling, over-apologizing mess. But it's fine, we'll get through it. We always get through it. I always get through it. And y'all always have to deal with it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on.
Kuma, and I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's some kind of imp. I don't know. I legitimately. Oh, speaking of imps, hello. How are you doing? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. That is actually really good timing. Anyways, I believe this is where the last real key is supposed to go. <clears throat> hmm. uh, the key works, but it won't turn. Could it be ticking? Uh, this thing, this thing isn't gonna explode, right? Sensing danger, I hurriedly and justifiably backed away from the door, and then Jesus H! It exploded! Trap! That was dangerous. Hmm. I could have really been hurt. Would have made for great television, but Jesus! The key is still here. Can it be used for something else? Holy shit! Also, uh, Rantaro? I think I found your lab, buddy. <laughs> and if my hypothesis is correct, I believe this is the ultimate, ultimate hunter's room, which is very problematic. From the looks of this door, it must be an ultimate lab. Why the fuck you're not questioning the ominous um, paint on it, and he, or paint on it, is beyond fucking me. But I guess this for this that's for us to. There are only a few of us left. Who do we have? <clears throat> there are only a few of us left who don't have a lab yet. Right. I should check inside. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> I fucking wonder. When I turned the knob. Hmm. Oh, god damn it! It's locked. Huh? It won't open. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hello! <clears throat> Sorry! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that research lab is closed because the owner is dead! Huh? The owner is dead? Hey. Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then that lab will remain closed! That's, That's the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. That's because it's... <clears throat> That's because this is the first time I've mentioned it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy, unfortunately. Anyways, if this lab belongs to someone who died... Then... Is this Rantaro's lab? Aww. How disappointing. You'd know what his talent was if you went in his lab. Even though, let's be honest, with the blood paint all over it, it should be pretty obvious if you connect the dots. You know... The ultimate hunt, the blood. You, you get it where I'm. <clears throat> you put it. You put it. You pick it up where I'm putting down. You get it? You know. Uh, please tell me you get it. <laughs> It'd be quite a dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. <clears throat> what does that mean? Yes. What does that mean? I wonder what that means. That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one! Oh well, what a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. Don't you talk smack about Kaede, bitch. I swear to god if I'm right about this though. Holy shit. Kentaro's lab. I am curious about his talent, but it's too late now. Again, I... <clears throat> Suichi, you're a fucking detective. You can connect the dots, right? Like... <laughs> Look at the map, even! Look at the map! <laughs> Christ! How is it not obvious? <laughs> God. It is both frustrating and hilarious just how dense some of the characters are sometimes. <laughs> Uh, mostly frustrating in the er er earlier games. Kind of funny in this one. And e well, equally funny and frustrating. You get the idea. I hope. I usually speak a lot of nonsense, so I'm hoping that someone gets what I'm saying sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Oof. I am all over the place today. <clears throat> Anyways, um... 
I'm gonna check the uh, the floors here first, but oh, right. I forgot about this. If this computer weren't here, me you ne never would have planned a murder. I know I shouldn't think like that, but I can't help it. Sorry, didn't mean to, didn't mean to scratch up old wounds or how do you say that phrase? I completely forgot. <clears throat> Jesus. Alright, um... We're just looking around here just in case, because... I don't know. Considering how I missed um, the thing that revealed Kibo's lab, I wouldn't be surprised if I missed, like, one tiny thing that, in hindsight, probably should have been obvious. So I'm just checking every inch, just in case. All right, um, this is probably usually the most uninteresting part of all of my streams. Um, da, 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 da. I didn't get turned around this time. Hallelujah! Only took five chapters. Fuck. <clears throat> really hope y'all can't hear me swallowing. That that would be very uncomfortable. Please. Damn it! Why hasn't there been anything in the basement? That's so bullshit. Okay, good. It doesn't seem to be picking up, at least. <sighs> the greenery is completely gone. This place really feels mechanical now. It looks like construction is almost done, but what happens then? I don't know. An ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Do we ever find out what that means? D do they ever say that before? I don't remember them saying that before. And now that I'm looking at this, this kind of looks like a chapel. <laughs> like, am I alone on this? This looks like a freaking chapel. I know, the top floor was supposed to be a chapel, but this... This doesn't look like a school to me. This looks like a Catholic school at worst, or at best. Whatever. I'm sure we'll figure out as soon as someone else dies, I guess. <clears throat> Smoogie! Hi! But we've only got two last keys. You wouldn't... We would have been better off with a thieves key and a magic key, huh? Huh? Why is that? Oh, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. But how many times has this happened now? What do you mean? The class trial ends, we get Monokuma's prizes, and then we search for a new area. You know, that same flow over and over. And the fact that all the murders keep happening in areas we discover? I sort of thought maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. But, but to solve the mystery of this academy, we're going to have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Of course, I know we need to do that too. All right. All right. I'm just gonna stop worrying about it. <clears throat> we need to live for Gonta and everyone else and escape this place. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. Then I'll plainly look around the school. I Again with the plainly thing, Samugi. I'll let you know if I find anything. Yeah, I'm still trying to forget about, um, you know what. If you, I, uh, what the fuck? Gibo, was this always here? Am I, am, am I going crazy? I, I, I'm so confused. I think this is where the the real last key goes. Um, there aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monica gave us, correct? There is a door on that wall. Perhaps we can get in. There's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. Yeah, but but again, was that always there? I don't remember that being there. What the fuck? Yeah, the real last key. Let's give this a shot. Was it the giant door unlocking? The, the, the beeping? I thought it was a fucking another bomb going off. 
thick metal door. Let's see. Oh. What is this place? This is... I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. Mecha could pop out at any moment. I feel like foreshadowing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm feeling this is foreshadowing. Yes! It took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. <laughs> you were gonna mention the eggs, these souls, weren't you? This is fucking weird, man. Like, this is weird. What the actual fuck? Oh! Hi again, Kibo. This is different from the other places we've seen so far. In this maze-like hallway, perhaps it's to defend the building that it leads to? Maybe? 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 I don't know. Why is it called the Cyber Courtyard, though? What? What could this possibly be protecting? This feels like a setup for something like in the beginning of the, the game. Okay, what 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 is this Wally shit? What is this? The shutter is huge. This is. This seems to be well fortified. Hmm. That is an electric barrier. You can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey. And if they're protecting th this strongly, there must be some secret in here. Yes. That is a possibility. Let's investigate to see if we can get in. Oh. Let's. Wait, it's dangerous! Don't! <sighs> Before I can finish my warning, Kibo approached the shutter and. Oh. What is this? Kibo! Kibo, get away from. Ah, bollocks! Hey. Oh my! Don't you go setting off the alarm now! Come on, come on! the ways I can turn off the alarm! <clears throat> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> there we go. Much better. Jeez, you guys gotta be more careful. Huh? Be careful? What was that alarm for? It was so loud. Yeah. Oh, that's the alarm system. Here. You see, that motion sensor alarm above the sh- <clears throat> You see that motion sensor alarm above the shutter? In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Why? Why is there an alarm system here of all places? <laughs> this place is so important that it needs beat up security. <clears throat> that it needs beat up security. God damn it. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain that electric barrier. To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59 digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once, so make sure you memorize it. 503934 Oh my god. <clears throat> Wait, slow down, please. 503. What was the rest? Only three numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. Electric barrier and alarm system. That's pretty tight security. Why? <clears throat> what are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Here. Like I said, this is a very important place. Well, it used to be important. But that was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? Pointless? Yep, it's pointless. So I may as well give you guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn off the motion sensor alarm above the shutter. And it definitely won't be used as a catalyst for your next trial. Beep, beep. <clears throat> right. See? It turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now just use the control panel to deactivate the electric barrier and you can go inside! Um, can you repeat that code you mentioned earlier? What? Huh? How annoying! 
Uh, since it's your first time, I'll let you inside just this once. Monokuma walked up to the control panel, quickly punched in the numbers, and... Now you just gotta manually raise the shutter and you can go inside! You can either use the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and electric barrier, or just use the control panel out here. Or do nothing, and the barrier and alarm system will stay off. <clears throat> ah, jeez! Well then, safe travels! Peace. <clears throat> My god. He just left us in this highly secure area? What's this game? Shuichi. Let's go, Suichi. We have no other direction to move but forward. My inner voice is telling me, hope moves forward. That's your conscience, Kibo. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Whoa. Ah, over there, it's... An egg oh, no. oh, five of them are here. It's too dangerous. Let's run. Oh. Wait a second. Hmm. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us. The lights are off. That's right. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. The pilots are dead, bitches. My children are dead. <laughs> Surprise. This is actually the Exesil hangar! Yep, this is where the Exesils are stored! The facility for storing Exesils? This is where I was guarding the precious Exesils so no one would mess with them! But... It's pointless now. Is it because the Monocubs are gone? No one can control the Exesils anymore. What?! No one can control them anymore?! Am I wrong? Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought a somewhat over-the-top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. Do not mock what me. does that mean? Quiet. Now, now, don't get so worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. <clears throat> Goodness, sorry. Fuck. The deactivated exesols. <clears throat> Is this hangar pointless now that the monocubs are gone? If that's true... Is nothing threatening us anymore? Yeah, that is true. The rules did state that if... <clears throat> Excuse me. That, uh... If any of the rules were broken, the Eggsy Souls would... Would get them, right? Let me check. <clears throat> Blacken, Spotless, Blacken Survives, The Killing Game, Flash Out, The Remain, Night Times from 10 to 8, if I want to the Headmaster, the Ultimate Academy is strictly forbidden. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. The body discovery now will play of three more students discover a body. The, with minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. The students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the Exesol. See? So technically, they can break all the rules they want. Furthermore, further, there may be new additions to the school rules according to the conventions of the headmaster. Okay. <clears throat> Luck. <clears throat> Jeez. <sighs> Sorry. A painting machine. A hydraulic press. This is a huge, powerful machine. That's... This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned Exesils. Huh? Scrap them? Yeah. Yes, even the Exesils could not withstand being crushed by giant... Yeah. Damn it. By giant metal slab. True. By the way. Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press by control using that control panel over there. Hmm. Oh my goodness! <clears throat> what is with... <sighs> I'm really sorry for anyone who's watching this that's seeing this part. Jesus. <clears throat> There's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. Emer emergency stop button. There's a safe notice written here. The hydraulic press has an 
infrared sensor when it detects a living being. It automatically stops for safety reasons. That's true. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Um. What do you think, Subichi? Huh? Of the safety function? I don't know. Well then. Let's give it a try. Uh, um... hmm? Try what? As I stood there confused, Kibo suddenly got under the pre- Kibo! Shuichi, please. Kibo, honey! Please what? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Let's find out. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. Well, there's an emergency stop button if it doesn't work, so... I guess? Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. Rust in peace, God damn it! He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Or, you know, press the emergency stop button. Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I pressed the button. And then... Press the... Oh no! Holy shit. <clears throat> that was a close one. Wait! Yes it was! Why did you do that? Why? Why didn't you press the four stop button, Suichi? It's not my fault! But... I mean, what, I, no, yes it is! What the fuck, dude? But at least we know now. It seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. For now. Well, to this hydraulic press, that is. You're right. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'll check that door last. This looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the exesols? This is... That seems comfortable. <laughs> comfortable, huh? Such a bean. This used machine has several moving arms. What is it used for? This, is... this machine is probably used to paint the exesols. Right. Ah, right. It does kind of smell like paint thinner. Um... Which means I could potentially use this machine to give myself a makeover. No. I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Of course I am. Then why bring it up? <clears throat> Listen, sometimes you just want a new look. There's nothing wrong with that. Ah, this control panel. That's... This is most likely the control panel for the alarm system and electric barrier. Hmm. Yes, it seems like it. But there's no reason to turn the barrier back on, so we shouldn't touch it. Are you saying that because I don't have the 59-digit code to deactivate it memorized? Uh, I guess. Because all robots can memorize more than three digits. Is that what you're implying? No. Uh, no? Okay. <laughs> that gave me, like, the same vibes as... You ever watch the Good Feathers from the Animaniacs? Like, like that one pigeon always like, What do you mean by that? Every time one of the other pigeons... Just says literally anything. He all, they always assume that they fucking are trying to like insult him. It's so fucking stupid. All five exesos are being stored here right now. Or aren't moving at all. They aren't moving at all. Are the exesos not going to move anymore? Are they no longer going to be used against us? Do they activate automatically if without even without the mono comes? I don't get it. <clears throat> What is this door? Let's see! Yahoo! Uh... This is a bathroom. It doesn't look like it when it's used. It doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here in a while. Monokuma and the Mono Cubs certainly don't need to use the bathroom. Then why is there a bathroom here in the first place? If they were under the impression we, we would never be here, why make a bathroom? Does that mean I was wrong? I was wrong! Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back. 
<laughs> no. Let's look around first. There is literally nothing. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I suppose I would. <clears throat> Investigated everything here. This is definitely a hanger for the Exy Souls, but they're deactivated. Anakuma might be right. This place no longer has a purpose. Now that the main people that control the damn things are dead, yeah. Makes sense. Anyways, let's GTFO. I have a I have a hypothesis for what this uh, last real key is gonna be used for. And I also have a hypothesis that this maze-like design is going to be used for another chase, just like in the prologue of this game. I... you can't convince me otherwise, it wouldn't make sense otherwise, right? Like, why else would they design it like that? Sorry, very off key, I know. Alright. This one door has been bugging me. And I will and I really wanna Oh! Seems like you guys had the same hypothesis as I did. Kaito still won't look me in the eyes. Talking to him is going to be awkward. Uh, boy. Yeah, the guy kinda got his ego fucked up by Kokichi in the last one. Hey, Maki. Hey. I wonder where Kokichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. No. I'm not sure. It's possible that he's always on the move to avoid being caught. <laughs> I agree. That guy's really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. Uh, I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. Hey! Don't say it like that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. Unlike Kokichi, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you can make. You're right. True. Okay. Uh, yeah, so. Fuck's sake. Hey, Himiko. <laughs> He's. Looks. It looks like Kaito's still upset with you. Hey, he needs to get him over himself, but you should think about his feelings too, Shuichi. <laughs> oh, excuse me. What happened to Gonta? No one could sort out their feelings in just one night. Yeah, yeah. let's just get this over with. Boom, baby! It's unlocked! Alright, let's go, bitches! Ooh, I can see a spiral staircase. Looks pretty long. Where does this staircase lead? Wait. Huh? Oh, wait, 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 that's... Okay, hold on. Hang on, 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 I know what that is, I know what that is, I know what that... This is a pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? I know. I know it's pretty long. Finally reached the top. I feel as if there's something th there. It's best to be cautious. Yes, I know. Almost as if it's Co it's Kokichi's lab. Not Kokichi's lab. Uh, Kaito's lab. Got it. Finally, it looks like this is my research lab. Kaito? Those stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. They made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? Hey. What do you mean, just? This is the main stage and it's finally been revealed. Hey. I'm, I'm tired. Hey, someone give me a piggyback ride. Hey. Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in there. Probably. Don't screw around. What do you mean, probably? It's gotta be full of super important stuff. Hey. Hey, is anyone gonna give me a piggyback ride? Himiko. Shut up! 
Shut up! I'm not gonna give you a piggyback ride! Uh, well, let's go inside then. Ooh. <laughs> it's a ship! There's a window. I can see the school in the courtyard. It's pretty high, but I guess that's obvious from how tall the staircase mm -hmm. is. Looks like this is the top floor. So my room's at the very top? Ten. Yeah, so what? No, I wondered. We, we know where everyone else's labs are so far. Where's Kokichi's lab? Like, this is Taito's lab. Good, that's fine. I like the style, but where's Kokichi's lab? <clears throat> it's a large machine. Perhaps it's for a planetarium. You can project stars on it, the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. I love how this looks, honestly. Let's look at the cockpit. This is amazing. It looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Yeah, I've never seen this machine. But I've trained with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. What reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in a, any vehicle you're driving. No. But wow, is this really a simulator? I feel like it's too elaborate. Nah, nah no way it's real. I mean, who would it even operate? I have a feeling this is foreshadowing. Yes. And at that moment... Hey, come look at this. Huh? huh? Something wrong? Well, I found this in the back. Huh? What is it? A file? The Gopher Project? Oh yeah, the Gopher Project. <laughs> Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of that. Well then, let's look at this. Maybe there's something here. So this file has information about the project? So what does it say? Okay. Hold on, I'll read it. Uh, um... Let's see. <clears throat> the Gopher Project. The last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with the imp imperative project are boys and girls of exceptional talent. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Hey! Well, what about the rest of it? What does it say? Hey! Don't tease us. Just say it already. Well, that's... The rest of it is blackened out. I can't read any further. Yeah, yeah. What did you say? Yeah. Did Monokuma do this? Damn it, he's just screwing with us. Hey. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Hey. And what could the seeds of future hope mean? And what's this about the new world? This? this is like Noah's Ark. Huh? huh? Noah's Ark? Because. Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. Is that true? What the hell is gopher wood? What is gopher wood? The timber from which Noah's Ark was made from an un unidentified tree. Oh! Well, that explains a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay. What? Oh yeah, you're right! Well, of course, it's just a story from the Bible, but to choose that name in particular... Hmm. It does seem related. How is all of this related to the Academy? To us? Why do I get the feeling that this also has something to do with the fact that one of the rules specifically states that the game will continue until there's two players remaining? And why specifically chose a boy and a girl chess piece? This is going to get dark very fast. Also, God damn it! I just noticed while I'm saying this that I'm at level 69. Shut up. <laughs> None of that makes any sense. If we find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. Right. So it must be somewhere else. We gotta look for it first. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So... I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. 
because we got to find the flashback light. Flashback light. Our last hope. But it's something that Monokuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. Hey! I wash my hands thoroughly before making this shit! But there's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore our memories. Shuichi! Ah, there you are, Suichi. Hey, Kibo. Um... Can you come to the dining hall? Samugi wants us all to meet her there. Huh? Huh? Samugi? Yes. She said she found something. I assume she has found a flashback light. At any rate, please hurry. I shall go on ahead. Alright, thanks, Keyboy. I mean, Keybo, fuck. So we finally found it. The next flashback light. What will you remember this time? All right. I should head to the dining hall. <laughs> Let's go already! <laughs> oh, goodness. You found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. What? Oh, uh, sorry, it's not the flashback light. Huh? It's not? I honestly thought that's what all this was about. Honestly. Jesus. What's that mean? And why did you call us here? I had to go to the bathroom. Oh. I found something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right now. Pretty serious? Uh, Samugi, would you care to elaborate on this? So, what did you find? It's from that one thing! Those letters going to found in the courtyard! There's more added to them again! Huh? The letters in the courtyard? Yeah. It looks like the message is complete now! We can finally read it! And it says... This world is mine! This world is mine! Kokichi Oma! That's what's written there! world is mine? What's, that mean? what's going on? Why is Kokichi's name? <sighs> no, so what's... So that's what it means. It was all just a prank by Kokichi. Huh? A prank? He kept adding to that message just so we could make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. Yeah, I see. That definitely seems like something Kokichi would do. It is true, but is that all there is to it? When going to have first found the writing, all it said was horse A. Over time, more letters were added. More letters were added. Fuck. Eventually, it read World is mine, Kokichioma. No shit. Can we really just ascribe it to Kokichi's pranks? You know... Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Hmm. It seems none of us have found it yet. Maybe that's Kokichi's fault too? He probably found it first and hid it. Hmm. That is possible. Like I thought. We need to do something to find him. No, there's no need to bother with him. The best way to deal with guys like him is to ignore them. So let's just leave him be. What's wrong? You say that, but you were the angriest of all, out of all of us. No, there was something I was just thinking about. What? Thinking about? I mean, it's still a little too early to tell you guys, but... Leave it to me. Well, just leave it to me. There's no need for you guys to worry. I'll figure it all out. What are you talking about? Figure what out? Hey, I mean, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Kaito is gonna get us out of here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that reckless confidence again. Huh? Reckless? Huh. <laughs> you guys just don't get it. Jeez, heroes are always misunderstood. Hey. Hero or whatever, it doesn't matter. 
Just don't overdo it. Of course. Yeah, leave it to me. Perhaps Kaito's confidence is baseless. But it's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in a long time like this. A hero. He might really be one. We weren't able to find the flashback light, so we were all left in the dining hall. We returned to our rooms. <sighs> Free time, I assume? There's still some time left today. Hmm. So what should I do? Free time! I know exactly what to do. And by that I mean I literally have no fucking idea what to do. Oh boy. Um, who should I hang out with today? I'll probably hang out with Samugi again. I don't I doubt Kaito would want to hang out after all that shit that's happened. Maybe I can hang out with Kibo some more? I don't know. Fucking still reeling from this. <sighs> that would have been perfect for. Dungan! Ah, Jesus. <clears throat> Dungan Werewolf! Yeah, let's let's go with that. Maybe Kilo would like the helping Yachi or home planet? I don't, I don't know. I haven't, really, I haven't really been giving Maki any love, so maybe? Yeah, I've only hung out, hung out with her once. Um... I actually haven't hung out with Himiko at all, too. That, so... maybe? Ah, shit. Maybe gag, Jesus. Um, I guess I can hang out with Kibo. Maybe. You know what? I'm gonna try and give him the, uh, not you. Possibly, probably, maybe, I don't know. Kibo, are you in here? <gasps> Kibo! There was no flashback light. Unless we missed it somehow? Sure. Well then. Then please let me, please let me look for the flashback okay. light. The way things are now, the situation will never change. I spent some time looking for the flashback light with Kibo. Yeah, let's give him a gift. And I'm 
praying that I don't fuck this up. Also, is the game lagging for anyone else? It's kind of lagging for me. <sighs> this could be considered a fashion magazine for robots. Let's be a bitch. There we go. Thank you very much. Suichi, thank you very much. I am humbled by your generosity. Did you give me this simply because I am a robot? I will report you to ro your robophobic actions. I don't know anything else about you, I'm sorry! I want to get to know you more! So I can give you a, an actual better gift. Please, I'm sorry. Shuichi. So you've come to talk to me again. You must be very fascinated by me, Suichi. That is understandable. In all the world, there is no other robot as impressive as I am. Why does he talk like to me like that? Although I suppose it is true that his technology is pretty amazing. Very human-like. Um. Hey, Kibo? You said your father is Professor Inabashi, right? Did you know why he made you? That's... The professor told me that I am the sum total of his research. The entirety of his knowledge technology, and expertise in the field of robotic engineering. Listen closely. All applied to create a robot more human than any that has come before. That is what I am. He said, I am the culmination of his life's work. But I am not truly born until an incident occurs that the professor did not predict. Huh? An incident? I... My strong AI was programmed such that my mental age would reflect my appearance. But unlike now... My AI was only capable of displaying a very narrow spectrum of human emotion. In response, the professor treated me the way a father would treat his son. But things did not improve. <clears throat> One day, a few years later, an accident occurred during a routine experiment. My programming went rogue, and I ended up in seriously injuring the professor. Huh? What? But... Fortunately, the professor survived his injury. But I died that day. Huh? Died? I... When I hurt the professor, I was overcome by the emotional response known as sadness. The first law of robotics states a robot must not harm a human being. Though I was punished for violating that rule, I nevertheless felt sadness. I blamed myself for hurting my father. In doing so, I was overcome with guilt. This is... This is what it feels like to have human emotions. Oh my god, I love him so much! I... At that moment, my AI suddenly reset, and I became not unlike a newborn infant. I see, so that's what he meant by died. That's... Perhaps I was simply wanted to be reborn as the professor's son again. That's what the professor concluded, and he raised me as his own child. By the way... To tell you the truth, my memories were deleted when my AI reset, so I learned all this second hand from the professor himself. I had no idea he had experienced something so incredible. What's the matter? Suichi? Is something wrong? No. Ah, uh, well, how do I put this? I was just thinking. You really are the ultimate robot. To Professor Itabashi, Kibo is more than just a robot. And I'm sure that for Kibo, the professor is... Hey! What does that mean? Do you hold me incompetent... In contempt now that... Fuck. Do you hold me in contempt now that because I'm a robot? How rude! Please reconsider your attitude towards me in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it, Kibo. <laughs> I listened to Kibo's stories about the professor, then returned to my room. <sighs> Alright. Anything else? Any more free time events? Yay! There's still time! Kinda wanna hang out with Kibo again. <laughs> I don't think I have any other gifts that he would like. At least none that I would know. Oh, excuse me. Um. What would Kibo like? It doesn't seem to be anything that seems to uh, um to line up with with. Kibo's interests, aside from the fact that he's a robot. Like, God, it would have been so cool if they had, like, specific items that Kibo would be interested in. Like, you learn more about him and, like, you figure out that, oh, maybe he likes Rochambeau and you give him these. Like, that would have been cool. 
But I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter now. I should have just used the goddamn map. Fuck. Uh... There it is. Monokuma hasn't presented us with a motive yet. What is he plotting? Yes! Let's take out with Kibo for- No! Wait! Damn it! <laughs> yes! Hang out with the Robo Boy! Perhaps he's expecting Kokichi to act on his own without even needing a motive. Maybe we should look for Kokichi. <clears throat> Kibo and I spent some time looking for Kokichi. Yee! Kokichi! Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Yes, Kibo, always give gifts to friends. I am hoping that I did not screw this up. Kibo, please don't hate me. I'm, please, please don't hate me. I'm, please don't. What is it? Fuck's sake! Very well then. Oh, wait, does that mean you Shinichi. like it? Oh, I was terrified that you would have thought you would have hated it. Jesus Christ. Suichi, may I ask you for advice concerning a particular matter? Uh, um, advice? Are you sure you want to ask me? Yes. Yes, in fact, you are the only one I can talk to about this matter. The only one? Um. This question has been on my mind for a while now. Do you think I'm merely ordinary despite being the ultimate robot? Well. No, you don't need to answer. Compared to everyone else, I feel rather ordinary. Then why ask? If I must. So I've been thinking that I need to address this somehow by taking action. Suichi, I intend to launch a robot business. A robot business? Indeed. Yes, I'm going to launch a business that takes full advantage of my robot capabilities. That's why I'm going to work to become a pop, a pop star robot. No, Kibo, no. <laughs> Uh, um... A pop star? Why that? Listen closely. I arrived at this decision after analyzing many options. The main reason is that robots have yet to advance in the pop music genre. I don't think they advance in any music genre. For now. On the subject of pop stars, singing is what they mostly know for, right? I don't know what's the right answer. I, I'm, my gut's telling me this, but I don't know. Um. Eh. That's. It's their looks. Hmm. Looks, huh? I suppose I could alter my appearance to a certain extent. But but I don't want to change how the professor designed me. Singing is how I will stand out. Well then. Well, I mean, to be fair, you already stand out just the way you are, so I guess there's really no need to do that in the first place. I'm going to sing for you now. Please tell me what you think. Okay. All right, sure. I would soon regret those words. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... Kibo's expression while singing was so peaceful, <laughs> so joyous. Ah, ah, ah! My brain w was being fried. I felt like my insides were scrambling. I can't block it out. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Several minutes later, I opened my eyes, still hunched over. Fuck, dude. How about this? What do you think, Suichi? It was pretty good, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry, Kibo. I don't think I can follow your music career. Huh? Huh? What do you no. mean? Kibo, your singing was terrible. I couldn't take it. Don't be don't be harsh. 
Really? Was it really that bad? Hmm. Yes, I don't think you should sing for people anymore. Oh. Oh, no. Does that mean I can't become a pop star? Oh. No, wait, Kibo, that's that's it. You can play music, right? Why don't you do that? If you just pretended to sing and played the song through your mouth. You can't. I can't do that. Uh, what? I'm disappointed in that you. That is an illogical compromise, Suichi. Please understand, my AI is a reflection of the human desire for greater understanding. So I must experience the hardship of training. The easy path will only hinder my progress. You know what? I like your moxie, kid. Even if one possesses an ultimate level talent, the talent should not be a crutch, but a stepping stone to reach even greater heights. You are my favorite. You get it. Holy shit. People gave me a dressing, a dressing down, and I returned to my room. What's a dressing down? God, I'm learning so many new things today. So many new facts today. What is a dressing down? An act of speaking angrily to someone because they have done something wrong. Oh. Okay. I gotta use that at some point, Jesus. I never thought the day would come when a robot would preach to a human. I mean, come on, is he wrong? I come to think of it, we didn't come to a conclusion about his robot business. We should probably do that soon. And it's nighttime. Fuck. Hey everyone! Guess who's? <laughs> from the Ultimate Academy. Jesus. The time is now 10 p.m. <gasps> Nighttime has officially begun. Oh my God, there's full voice acting again. Killers, this is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. It's vicious business, you know? Will you sleep like a baby tonight or sleep with the fishes? Away. Don't let the bad bugs bite. <laughs> oh, I missed that. It's nighttime. I would have been training. Huh? Huh? Who's at the door? Oh, Maki. Got a minute? Do you have a minute? Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Well, Kaito asked me earlier. To show him my research lab. Huh? Huh? The lab? <sighs> I might as well show him since I know he won't take no further or no for an answer. So you have to come too. Why is that? She wants me to go? Maki invited me, so I should go. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's -a go! Yahoo! Whoa! Oh, Samuki? Um, Samuki? What are you looking for? <clears throat> what are you looking up at the sky for? Oh, Suichi, I was just looking at the stars a little. I remembered something Gonta said before. What did Gonta say? Yeah. Remember? After Kirumi's trial. Now that she mentions it. What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But stars here are different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Actually, I was just thinking, stars really are pretty. You can't tell the difference since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me. I've forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, I was always looking down. You're right. I need to thank Gonta. You're right. You're right. Hey! Hey, do you want to join me, Suichi? Sorry. Uh, sorry, there's something I have to take care of. I see. I see. Well, I'm going to stay here a little while longer. You do that, Samugi. Yeah, the JPEG really is pretty, isn't it? 
God, I sound like an asshole. Kibo! Hi. <laughs> Shuichi! It's already nighttime, Shuichi. What are you doing out and about at this hour? Okay. I promised to meet up with Maki. I see. I see. Well. Well, I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Not anymore, anyways. Perhaps it's an old habit from my time on the student council, but I felt like I had to ask. That was only a few days ago. It feels like we formed that student council with Angie ages ago. A lot of things have happened since then. I haven't had a moment to relax. Um. At any rate, please be careful. Being out during nighttime could result in another murder. Especially now, when we don't know Kokichi's whereabouts. You're right. You're right. I'll be careful. Thanks, Kibo. <clears throat> I'm really sorry for all the sniffling and throat clearing. I just... <clears throat> I don't know why this has been happening. I mean, I, I, I usually sniffle and cough a lot during streams, but this... This is just more noticeable. At least to me it is. One more floor up and we should be good. And here we are, third floor. Y'all ready? <gasps> Gaga! Hi, Gaga! What? Oh. Ah, sorry, I'm late. Hmm? Okay. Oh, y you came too. Uh, okay. Y yeah. Silence. <sighs> and as if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why didn't you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaito? Ah. Well, I just wanted to see what kind of weapons were here. What? what? Why would you want to see my weapon? You know. But wow, these are there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these, Maki Roll? Ah, so you aren't in the last trial yet. Well, yeah, I, I'm i just starting the fifth tri uh, fifth chapter, actually. But we're getting close. We're getting close. I see. Yes, more or less. So... But there's no swords of any kind here. Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I, won't, I don't use swords of any type. Not after I botched a mission with the katana. Hmm. Hmm, I see. I feel like I've heard this story before. I see. Enjoy the suffering. Thank you. I will try. <laughs> Kill me. <clears throat> Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Can I punch him in the throat? Hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I've got a plan figured out. Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far bookcases. So... What's in this? It's... is it some kind of weapon? Then... If you want to know, why don't you open it? Let's see. And then Kaito pulled something from the black case. What's this? It's a bunch of parts? I see. It's a disassembled crossbow. Hmm. hmm. So, when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Looks interesting. Hey, Maki Roll, can you teach me how to put it together? Sure. Whatever. Sure. I don't mind. Put this and this together. Um, like this? And then, put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. <laughs> Kaito struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded in putting together the crossbow. Whoa! 
Since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So what? It doesn't matter how built who builds it though. That's right. It seems like a it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next time. Okay. Suichi, do you want to learn too? No. Uh, no, that's all right. I sort of understand from watching anyway. Hmm. And let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? Who else is gonna do it? My bad. Y yeah, sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? It seems like I'm not at 100%. So I'm gonna go back first. Hey. Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away like a cr with a crappy lie. How annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst. Well. Ah, oh, well, that's just Kaito. <sighs> You're the worst too. Huh? Huh? Well. I'm sure you know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Y yeah, I do. We were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. He did call you a baka on the way here, but I'm sure that's unrelated. But... But I just don't know what to say to him. I had no choice. Gonta, if I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I, I don't think you'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! Sorry, Maki. I just need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. Sorry. Now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I had finished, I returned to my room. I'll see you after you're done, lol. Okay. Thanks, Bean. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the thing with me and Kaito. Right. I need to make up with him. For us. And for Maki. <clears throat> <clears throat> I fell asleep thinking about it. <coughs> Ew, no! Damn it. Why? Why now? Why me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? Dude. I, I still haven't gone to, to space. Damn it. Uh, Kaito, for fuck's sake! I'm out of here, my theater. <clears throat> <clears throat> Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful. I want to print the words reckless beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. It's what makes you run at full speed with no regard for limitations. It's what makes you excited about anything. Some say it's foolishness, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal! And if a hater is laughing at you, let them! They just don't appreciate their reckless beauty like you do! Hmm. Goodness. I'm having a lot more trouble with my Monokuma voice than usual. Hang on a sec. <sighs> Would it be a good idea to use the love key, especially after what happened last time? I don't... I'm kind of scared to use it. Eh... Hmm... Morbid curiosity, you bitch. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! <laughs> 
Oh my god, no! No! She's too pure! Oh my god! Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. Why did I think this was a good idea? What kind of fantasies would Himiko have? Her whole life is fantasy. Oh God, please don't be weird. Please don't get weird. I'm begging you to not get weird. Not with Himiko. I already had the, I already had a weird experience with Samugi. I don't need another one with Himiko. Okay. Suichi, is your mana attuned properly for the ceremony? Oh. Oh, it's just a LARP. Okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, shit. Hang on. My... Oh, fuck. The audio stream's current bitrate zero is lower than the recommended bit... What? What's going on? Is this stream fucking up for you guys? I think my internet's just being shitty. Either way. There we go. <clears throat> and I didn't even need to, to fuck up the... What's it called? The gameplay. Huh? Huh? The what? Oh my. What, did you skip your preparations again? What a useless thrall. Yeah, why do I make a useless guy like you my thrall? Uh, um, Your... thrall? What? You still don't understand. I explained it when I for forged the contract. My thrall, I mean you're my familiar. Uh, this feels like it's going in a weird direction again. Himiko, please, I'm making you don't make it weird. That, means that goes double for you too, Suichi, don't make it weird! Seriously. Ugh. And granted you a magical beast human form. In exchange, you serve me. Huh? So I'm an animal in human form? <laughs> you forgot already? You're originally a wolf. Huh? What? I'm a wolf? This is pretty out there, even for a fantasy. Is Himiko's fantasy being an all-powerful mage? Please let that be it and nothing else. I'm begging you, game. So is your mana attuned yet or not? Uh, um, uh, um, I'm not done yet. What was that? So you did skip your preparations. This calls for a punishment. Oh no, no, please don't make me do this. Huh? A punishment? Okay. Don't move. If you move, I'll use my magic to pull out all your hair. Himiko took a few bold steps towards me. Her eyebrows furrowed. What is she doing? Am I about to be a guinea pig for her magic? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Himiko! Huh? What? I looked down to find Himiko burying her face in my chest. Oh, wait, no. Uh, um, what are you doing? This is your punishment. Wait! Well, hey! Himiko squeezed me tight, rubbing her forehead against my chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if this should be count as cute or weird, but honestly, this doesn't seem weird yet, but I'm still, I'm still um, keeping my guard up just in case. She looks like a dog or cat rubbing against their owner. It's kind of cute. But no, wait, now it is not the time to be thinking like that. Um, uh, is this my punishment? That's right. That's right. I usually spoil you, but sometimes your master needs to be spoiled. Yuriko mumbled out, her face still nuzzling me. Doesn't sound like much of an order, more like a child's pouting. Hurry uh, up. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Spoil her. Maybe pet her head? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, I was right. She really is like a pet. That's... Don't get weird, please, don't get weird, please, don't get weird, please, don't get weird, I'm begging you, do not get weird. More. This is your punishment, so you need to pet me until I'm satisfied. More? As in pet somewhere else? No! As if reading my mind, Himiko whispered, I'm back. No. 
You're back? Uh, I don't know if I should... Why? That's... Hmm. Hmm. Are you going to disobey your master? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. It's just like petting an animal. Nothing wrong with that. Are you sure about that? Only half convinced, I still allowed my hand to slide lower and down to her back. Don't go any lower than that, or I swear to God. <laughs> oh. She really seems to be enjoying it. Does she like being petted? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, is there voice acting? <laughs> yeah, there's voice acting. Please don't get weird. Please don't get weird. Please do not get weird. Please do not get weird. Do not get weird. I'm begging you. Watching Himiko respond to my petting made me lose track of the time completely. Bye. Without warning, Himiko's body went limp as she curled up against me. This is cute, but I'm really worried that this might get weird. Are you okay? I managed to catch her before she fell, but just as I was about to set her down... Uh. Whoa! Himiko's arms strung up around my neck, embracing me tight. What happened? Himiko? I know what you want, sweetie. Yeah, uh, please don't get weird. Huh? You do? You're longing for the magical power I hold, aren't you? It's okay. If you want to do that, I'm just a foolish mage. I fell in love with her familiar. Love? With a wolf? I'm ready. If you want me, then I'll be coming for you. Oh, I don't know. Himiko, honey, please no, please no. Himiko, Himiko, you're too pure for that. Himiko! Himiko's breath washed against my ear in a seductive whisper. I felt like I was put under a spell. Cut to black, 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 cut to black! <sighs> Himiko, you're too pure for that, sweetie. Come on. Okay, I... I think I should make an executive decision to never use the love key again. <clears throat> this is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy! Yeah, cool, great. Is, is, should I do that? Should I just not use the key again? I I feel like I should just stop using the key entirely. Rise and shine, kiddos! It's another gorgeous day for a killing game! So get out there! Embrace your homicidal urges! And have a fabulous day! <laughs> okay, okay. What? Is it morning already? Last night with Himiko, was that a dream? Yeah, definitely a dream. I'm sure everyone's gathered in the dining hall. I should go too. Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh, hi. Hi again. How are you doing? Please don't, don't die. Sweetie, honey, please don't. Hi. Hey, Suichi. Hey. Oh, uh, Suichi. Good morning. Uh, okay. G good morning. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. Hmm. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today. Since I've been here, I've been on a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me too. I've been eating breakfast every morning now. Hmm. It'd probably be good if I kept this up this schedule after we get out of here. If I do that, it'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, it might be because of the schedule, but I think they've grown a little bit. I've grown them bigger and bigger this way. Then no one will be able to call me Titless. Oh my god. Let me go, honey. Please. It really doesn't matter how... I'm gonna shut up now. Huh? Let me go. Eh? Yeah. Yeah? Nothing. I'll get going now. Moving on. Oh, 
Oh god, ow! Hey everyone! Kokichi's not here! Well, if he was, it'd be complete chaos. It's gonna be complete chaos soon, I'm telling you. What are you thinking of, huh? <clears throat> huh? Well... You're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried, too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. Mm. Sure enough, he's a master of hide-and-seek. It can be! He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Well... No, as long as Monokuma is here, I do not think that is possible. Please. Like I said, just forget about him. Anyway... Listen up! Listen up, everyone! I gotta tell you guys something. Kaito has an idea? It's a little awkward with Kaito right now, but I should listen. Why do I have... <sighs> fuck it, fuck it, I don't care. Um, What's your idea, Kaito? So... Oh. Mm, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Lacking subtlety, Kaito averted his eyes from me and looked around. You know... Looks like Monokuma isn't here. Well, I wouldn't care if he was. Kaito turned to us, his expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you guys out of here. But to do that... I need your guys' help. Please. So please, help me out here. Huh? What? I mean... In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Hold on. What are you talking about? Um... Work with you? What do you mean? Got it. Fight Monokuma with me. Huh? Fight Monokuma? Listen up. Now's our best chance. Since the Monocups are gone, the ex Isos that were protecting him can't move. Let's do it. Now's our chance to get together and kick Monokuma's ass. Fight Monokuma? I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But, but Monokuma probably got more spares. Won't it be pointless no matter how many times we beat? <sighs> then we'll have to do all we have to. Do Fuck! Then all we have to do is destroy them one by one until there aren't any left! But. But we don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the Exe Souls, this academy is still under his control. Hey! Then you're fine with the way things are now? Do you guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you gonna- are you okay with that? Listen up. The only way to change things now is to fight. If you want to put an end to this killing game, then we gotta fight. Hey if we don't stand up now, then when? But, but we don't have anyone who can fight. Like Gonta or Tenko. Then, then I- then I will have to fight on their behalf. What? what? Well... I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki. Everyone! Let's do it. What? Huh? Kibo, you too? I heard it. My inner voice that guides me when I feel lost spoke to me again. It said, now's the time to stand up and fight. It may be dangerous a course of action, but if it will prevent further future victims, I... then I'll then I decided that I'll fight Monokuma. I'll, I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I'll lend you my power. Huh? Were you really waiting for that? I don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. That's why I will fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. That's the spirit. Yeah. Okay then. Me too. We can't let the killing game go on like this. Okay. You're going to join us as well, right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. All right. So we all agree. Then it's decided. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna beat Monokuma to a pulp. Yeah. Yes. Let's show him that we. <clears throat> Fuck. Let's show him what we're made of. Mm. I won't even need him to use my magic. No. No. I think that if you can use magic, now's the time for it. Well. And when did you guys want to start? I'm fine with starting right away. Ah. Well, don't get ahead of yourself because this will be the final battle. We should make sure we're prepared. What? Prepared? For what? I mean... Prepared for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> so you can make preparations, but you can, can't clean up after yourself? Huh. Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys just gotta prepare yourselves mentally. All right. The battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's nighttime, let's meet up at the gym. 
After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. We separated for now and returned to our rooms. Fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our last chance, but what is this sense of unease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. And Kokichi, too. I can't imagine he'd just ignore this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. Right time start! I'm practicing rolling my R's. How to do? <clears throat> Anyways. Okay. I know exactly who I'm gonna, gonna hang out with. Let's do it! Together we're strong enough to defeat Monokuma! Yes, let's hang out with the with the Robo Boy. Yeah. Yes, let's raise our morale by spending time together. Yeah! Alright. Let's see if this works. I am not honestly sure, and I'm praying that I did not screw up. And do you think Kiba would like this? I mean, he might like games. Uh, this would probably be better with uh, Kaito than Kibo, but I don't know what else to choose. Uh, I'm tempted to use this one. Um, fuck it, let's fuck around and find out. Thank you very much. This is nice. It aligns with my preferences. You understand me. I feel happy. Shuichi! Yes! Yes! I'm understanding the boy! Shuichi, have you given more thought to our previous discussion? Our previous discussion? Ah, I remember. When I suggested he faked the singing. Sorry. Yes, I have, Kibo. I apologize for saying what I did. Yeah. I accept your apology. After all, humans and robots alike seek greater understanding. Well then. As for my robot business, if I can't be a pop star, I'll have to think of something else. But I can't seem to think of anything. Do you have any ideas? Something else Kibo could get into. I really upset him last time. I should think hard about this. Fucking Robo Maid, that's so. What a fuck! Um. Not high risk works. None of these are good options! I mean, I guess high risk work because Kibo would be pretty good at avoiding danger. Stunt work, I don't know if he had the dexterity for that. Oh, well, I mean, I guess he did avoid the press, so maybe. Not Robo Maid, that's just. that's just condescending. Um. Uh, but high risk work, he could pull that off. But I feel like he would also assume that I'm, that I'm saying that he, his life would. I don't know. I don't know. Stunt work. No. <sighs> stunt work. Then. What about stunt work? Like a stuntman. Stunt work? Okay. Yeah, because you're a robot, you can stand for a lot of things. But that may be, but I'm not exactly the most physical, sturdy robot, so... <laughs> ah, that's right. Hmm. Alright then, uh... Oh. Perhaps a caregiver robot, like life expectancy rising. With life expect... <laughs> hmm, sorry. Perhaps as a caregiver robot, with life expectancy rising, I'm sure there is high demand. See. Caregiver robot. I hadn't considered that. Well then. Alright, I will begin practicing at once. I'm counting on you to help me, Suichi. No. What? How could I possibly help you, Kibo? Please. I would like you to roleplay as someone into my care. Okay. Ah, I see. Alright, sure. Well then. First, I will attempt to assist you in getting ready for bed. Uh, um... Ready for bed. Alright. Can you help me change into pajamas? Impossible! Just to changing clothes? I can't do that! It's too embarrassing! No. It's care work, Kibo. 
You don't have to be embarrassed. Don't. What's embarrassing is embarrassing, and that's that. No clothes changing. God, he looks so adorable like that. All right, all right. Well then. I suppose I'll try picking you up and placing you on okay. the bed. There's no bed here, so I suppose we'll have to make, have to make do. I got in fetal position so that Kibo could carry me more easily. This is kind of embarrassing. This could easily lead to a misunderstanding. All right. Okay, here I go. Kibo announced with determination, then began to lift me up. He's not picking me up. Is he okay? Hmm. Kibo, what's wrong? Ouch! My back! My back! Huh? Your back? I thought you were a robot. Oh, rude. You're too heavy. Really? I am not. I'm normal for my age. Yeah. Ouch! It hurts to move my back. I guess that makes caregiving out of the question. Yay! More friendship fragments. Just need one more and I'll, and I'll get the... Wait. Would that mean I give Kibo some to... Hello! Welcome back. I just realized, if I if I fill out Kibo's report card, does that mean that I'll... Does that mean I'll get his underwear? That's true. I should really be careful about this. Oh, fuck it. It's the last fragment, so why not? <gasps> Hello. Kibo! Wait, he's not in this direction. Where, where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's in his lab, I think. Kibo! That's not the right direction! Give it a sec. Oh, Monokuma! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't know there was hidden Akumas in this section. That's really cool. Kibo! Hi. Please wait. Monokuma is the obvious threat, but we need to be wary of Kokichi's next move. He is persistent about this game and will likely interfere with our attempt to end it. Yes, let's do it. All right. And let's come up with a plan to defend against Kokichi's interference. Yes, let's do it. I spent some time with Kibo. Yay! Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to- Yes! Always give Kibo a present. Though, so, uh... What, what, what should I give him now? Hey! Shuichi! Welcome to the stream, man! Or welcome back, I guess. I saw you earlier. So yeah, welcome back. My gut's telling me this. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Are you okay? Kibo, is your back okay? Yeah. Yes, it feels better after I rested. So we just had to rest? It doesn't have to get repairs done? Well then. Suichi, about my robot business plan. I've realized that there's an issue that must be addressed before I can implement it. I've been told on more than one occasion that my backstory is somewhat lacking. Huh? Your backstory? Which means... If my backstory was more interesting, maybe I could be more than just an ordinary robot. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Listen closely. Sorry. Oh, Kokichi! Leave, I had to do SMT. Yeah, that's fine, dude. It's fine. Your life comes first, after all. Besides, I got a bot channel that I kind of take forever to upload to. But, you know, it's not the end of the world if you don't make it. So, yeah, it's fine. Your life comes first. For example, if my family were killed by a monster, leaving me critically injured, or if I sought revenge against someone, you know, like a tragic hero. This way I gain more exposure to the emotions of sadness and vengeance. I suppose so. That does sound pretty cool. Hmm. I need weapons, which I'd have to get from the professor along with my new backstory. I'm not that fond of robotic weaponry, but I suppose it's unavoidable. Hmm. Are you sure? I know you don't like weapons. Isn't that something you really wanted to avoid? But if I stay the way I am... Hey. I've said this before, but you really are the ultimate robot, Kibo. You shouldn't think of yourself as merely ordinary. Suichi, your words make me extremely happy. 
However, I still don't fully comprehend what it means to feel that emotion. And though I detect that this causes me to feel sad, I cannot comprehend that either, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to, he just wants to be what's the word? Loved? I think. I, that's the word I can I'm thinking of, so fuck it. Sad? Yeah. Within me, I have a strong desire to feel like everyone else. To be able to state with pride that I'm friends with you and everyone else here. Mm. Kibo. Could that be why he's so concerned? He wants everyone to accept him? Yes! Now you're getting it! Is that alright? Kibo, you don't have to think of a new of a new backstory. I should keep thinking about the robot business together. Huh? Really? But you said that I really am the ultimate robot. Okay. Yes, that's true, but if you keep getting more business experience, I think it will help you learn new emotions as well. That's why I wanted to help you, Kibo, as a friend. <laughs> to Suichi! Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I am truly grateful. To think I feel such gratitude towards you. What a serendipitous miscalculation. <laughs> Hardly, Kibo. You were the one who told me that only I could help you. That's... Oh, that was a logical decision on my part, because... It's dangerous to expose your weakness to an equal, but not to someone who is beneath you. Hey! So that's why he was always talking down to me. But, but our relationship is different now. I feel that you and I are equals. No, I have decided that we're equals due to our special relationship. This is... Ah, yes. This is probably intuition, huh? Intuition? Yes. Based on our interactions thus far, I believe I felt something inside you. This judgment is not rooted in logic, but rather something akin to human intuition. That intuition is telling me that I can build a friendship with you, Shuichi. Friendship! A friendship, huh? Yes, I suppose that is an equal, but special relationship. Shuichi! Well, I keep... I keep on forgetting that I say hi more than an average person. Ah, oh, Bean is fine. Okay. Oh shit, what did you say? Please look out for me, Suichi. And you for me, Kibo. You shook hands with one human run robot. That's not what's important here. There's a real connection here. A true bond between me and Kibo. Yes! Friendship! Wait. Digital love? What does that do? You spent the rest of the day discussing robot business possibilities. No. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the equ his equivalent of underwear. <laughs> God. That's. This sounds so weird to say, doesn't it? My God. What do you play on? I'm playing on uh, my PC right now. Where the fuck is Monokuma? Monokuma isn't here? What was that? No. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone has already gathered there. This is concerning. This is very concerning. Is everyone gonna be all right? Oh, Sumuki! Shuichi! Oh, Suichi! Are you headed to the gym? Okay. Yes, I am. Hey! I remembered hearing Miyu getting all worked up about it, but... In Kibo's research lab, there's a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? If he'd use those, we wouldn't have to depend so much on Maki in fights. Well. That's true, but... Kibo said he doesn't want anything too sci-fi, so... But in this situation, maybe you should just get over that already. Okay, no need to be shallow. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything. Yes! Thank you! One man's mo is another man's trash. <laughs> One man's mo is another man's trash. Yay, blue hair twins. Yeah. Hmm? Hmm. Wait, is that how that goes? Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go on ahead. You do that. I'll meet you there. I feel like I should say something profound here, but I can't think of anything to say right now. Alright, should be down this way. I'm nervous. 
I'm very nervous. <sighs> Let's see. Whoa! Holy shit! All right. All right. Everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Oh. Are those weapons? Oh yeah. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Got it. Yeah, that's right. Hey guys. Anyway, let's get started. You guys better be ready. Uh, uh, you don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No, I mean ready to fight and win, obviously. Ready to fight and win. Yeah. Yeah, we challenged him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. Listen up. But this time we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're going to beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> oh, God, it's him. What a coinky dink. I was planning on ending this killing game, too. Upon hearing that voice, we all spun on a dime. Kaito's still alive, I'm proud. Yeah, I agree. And saw him standing before us. Drum roll, please. There he is. Y'all can barely see that, but what the fuck? You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. Oh god. You little what are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. <laughs> Red? Is that a bomb? What's with the mouse? It's exactly that. Which means, if you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. <sighs> of course. So? Wait, what was I gonna tell you? Don't lie. You were the one who said it! You little... What are you gonna do with that bomb? Oh, oh yeah, I was gonna tell you my purpose. See? You know how it says in the rules that the killing game will continue until there's only two left? Don't you fucking dare. But... But it never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? Huh? What? No, no. So here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. My vote is on Shuichi. For obvious reasons. It can't be. It can't be. You... What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with that bomb? Are you serious? Then the way you're gonna end the killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and my one other person. Jesus Christ, you little bastard! Kill everyone! Nagito, I've been spending too much time with Kokichi. <laughs> if I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules. Right? <sighs> I love a good callback. Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. There's no way. Don't screw around. You quit screwing around! Who'd ever agree to that plan? Hey. Even if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. Why you? I'm scared of dying, but nothing good will come of us surviving with you. What was that? I also... Don't want to survive with someone who'd do such a thing to Gonta. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? Kokichi, you just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. Wow, what a surprise. I didn't ex think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination? <laughs> hey, Gaiga. Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. So let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons! Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? That does explain the hammers. Could it be the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? Are you talking about the hammers? Cut it out! Cut it out! There's no reason to listen to him, guys! Come on, at least hear me out. This is all so Mio's memento. Mm -hmm. Mio's memento? Yeah. Yeah, they're called electro hammers. And there's something I asked Mio to invent. 
How exciting! They're a pretty incredible invention that disables any electronic machine on contact. Huh? Disables electronic machines? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that includes Kibo too. They should be helpful against Monokuma, right? Huh? Helpful against Monokuma? Hold up! Hey, how did you know we were gonna find fight Mono? Oh. oh well, I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. The fact that you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But... Well, now Kokichi and me... And... Names. What the fuck was her name? Himiko. God, sorry. Brain. Brain mush. I just realized I made Kokichi and Himiko's voices the same. But I was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. That's how I want to end this killing game. And that's why I asked Mew to make these. To defeat Monokuma and the Monocubs! Don't lie. You've been fixated on this killing game the whole time. Always messing it's around. That really s is that really something Miyu made? Aren't you just lying about that too? I'm Kokichi, I'm gonna... Besides Miyu being gross and Kokichi roasting Miyu, I would say they had a good relationship. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Kokichi is gonna... I'm gonna miss you. What do you mean you're gonna miss him? What's gonna happen to him? Huh? You're gonna doubt that too? Of course! Have you forgotten everything you've done to us up till now? Yeah. Yep, I forgot. Yeah. yeah, how do you expect us to believe that? Because... This doesn't make sense. If Miyu made that weapon, why didn't she... Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Mm. Yeah, if there were weapons to fight against Monokuma, she should have all... We should have all fought together! This is all your fault. Huh? Our fault? Oh, man. I told me you too, you know. Around the time I asked her to invent this. I told her that we should fight against Monokuma, but she... Ugh, what a pain in my ass. What do I gotta make this again? Well, you know. Quit complaining. This is all unfuckable... Okay. This is all an unfuckable ugly bitch like you is good for anyway. What? Huh? Oh, okay. But... Jesus Christ. But this is so exciting. When this is done, we can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Yeah. Don't be stupid. If you're gonna do it, do it yourself. Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will betray us. Betray us and kill one of us. Besides, this weapon won't make a difference. We'll be killed by an exit seal before we can use it. I just invented it because I wanted... Because I was asked to. I have no intention on defying my Monokuma. There's no way we can beat him. And I can't afford to die here anyway. Listen up! Not when I still need to invent something that's going to change the world! So if you want to defy Monokuma, do it yourself! Come with me! But if it doesn't work out, come with me, okay? I'll do anything, anything, to thank you. This feels so weird. I honestly spoiled the game for myself before I even played it. Lol, I just stumbled upon a picture and about Kokichi and became obsessed with Danganronpa. Aw, oh, Bean. That's very fair. I actually had the entirety of the first game spoiled for me because I got a little too curious about Danganronpa when I was streaming the first game at the time on Twitch. The VODs are long gone by now, sadly. Or I guess fortunately because those VODs were terrible. But yeah. <laughs> I had the entirety of the first game spoiled, and I've been trying so hard not to get spoiled for, for, for the other two games. Like, seriously. I have been this close to getting spoiled so many times. Someone will betray us. That's what she said. Well, the Exe souls were still moving at the time, so I don't blame her, but... She was afraid to trust you guys. The fear of betrayal overcame her. That's why she bloodied her hands in this killing game. That idiot. You know. But you guys are different. You guys have been lose the, the fear of your friends betraying you, right? You showed your determination to fight together, and you ignored my advice from earlier. No. And you would lie about killing all of us to test that theory? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I wanted you guys to do your best. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. What are you saying? You probably just lied about talking to me. Oh, hey, by the way, the electro hammers weren't the only thing you made. He made this thing, too! What? That bomb, too? <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though. 
Even if it's called an electrobomb, it jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronics within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Please wait. <clears throat> Okichi, stop hanging out with Nagito and Byakuya. The ant tag, stop hanging out with them. <laughs> oh, Bean. Settle? We have no intention of using such suspicious looking hammers. But... Are you sure? You can use these electro hammers not only against Monokuma, but also to get through that underground tunnel. Huh? The underground tunnel? See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electronic shops in that place. I actually had a hypothesis that you could like beat the the underground tunnel section without without uh, playing the rest of the game, though. I didn't want to look that up just in case. I wanted to try doing it in my spare time, but you know, I don't know how true that is exactly. Is that true? Oh, are you finally starting to believe me? But, but be careful. Electro hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against Nexusil, it'll run out of juice with this just one shot. Got it? Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge, so watch out for that. Anyway, I'm done explaining, so I'll hand the electro hammers over. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore either. Huh? It won't interfere? Hmm. The student council blocked it up though. I think they actually moved the debris after um the third trial. I don't remember, but I think they did. I'll be looking for it from a distance, or something like that. You don't want me around anyway. No. Wait, before you run off again, there's something I need to ask you. What was that writing in the courtyard? I remember correctly. That message that Gonta found, this world is mine, I believe it said. Did you write that? And if you did, why? Sayoma moment number three. <laughs> hmm? What's that? I have no idea. Don't lie! Don't play dumb! Your name is on it. You gotta be the one who did it. But... but I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? That would just make you guys suspect I'm the mastermind. Huh? Mastermind? Because... Yeah, this world is mine. Kokichiyama would make me seem like the mastermind. Huh. Oh, I know. This is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry. I truly want to change and this killing. Suddenly a dark shadow slid between us quick as a flash. Ah! Maki, Maki, wait, Maki! Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game. That's all. If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. Maki, wait! Maki roll, cut it out! You'll get killed if you don't! I told you, we can't play this killing game! That's just what Monokuma wants! Okay. Maki let go and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. Jeez. You're such a meanie. How could you do something like this to a friend? What? Friend? As if. You guys may not think that way, but I see. I see you all as my friends. That's why I'll be back. I won't interfere anymore, so please, continue to walk the path you believe in. Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. Okay, who actually believes in Kokichi? I want to believe him, though I'm kind of scared too. He left behind the electro hammers. Hmm. What should we do? No. You mean about the hammers? They've got to be booby trapped somehow. Hmm. But looking at it, it definitely seems like something you made. Hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. Ah. But you know, if it's not a lie, then isn't this our chan one chance to escape? Huh? What? Listen up. If we use the electro hammers, maybe we can get through the underground passage. So why don't we try? Uh, I just noticed Koki Kokaito is bleeding from the mouth. What is it? You mean? Actually, do what Kokichi is suggesting? What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. But are you really going to believe Kokichi? You know. Our goal is to escape with everyone, right? If there's a chance we can do it, then we should take it. 
We don't have enough time. Huh? Time? Uh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. With Monokuma. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. I just read y'all's messages about responding to my question. Sorry. Yeah, with Monokuma. Like he's gonna get in our way soon. Hmm. No, Ka Kaito, don't lie. True. This is our best chance now that he's not making any obvious movements. Hey, so, so let's try the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get to the outside world. You're right. You're right. If we can escape, we'll find out the secret of the outside world for ourselves. We do not know if that's a liar or the truth or though. Wait. What if that key card disabled the traps and that's where Kokichi's been hiding? We'll see. The secret of the outside world. The despair Gonta mentioned. Was that a lie? Is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. You're right. We have to try. Right. Yeah, that's all we've got. Well, the secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyway. We must do it. Either way, we should at least try. So we won't have any regrets. What, do? what do you want to do, Maki? If that hammer is a trap, then I'll really kill that asshole. On, you can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know. I'm just going to beat him to a bloody pulp. <laughs> the um key card, that was for the library, right? That was my first hypothesis, but I don't know. Like, it hasn't been brought up until now, so maybe? I have no idea. I see. I see. If everyone else is going to do it, I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself for the underground passage again. Got it. Yeah, right on. However, I'm so concerned that Monokuma has been... S I'm so concerned that Monokuma has been quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point in worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. It's the only thing I can do. Keep moving forward. Alright! All right, let's get going! We're gonna escape from the underground passages for sure this time! I suspect Kokichi has the mastermind. Eh, maybe, but then again, I don't know for sure. We'll see. Kaito gave a triumphant shout, and we all grabbed our electronic hammers. Yes, yes let's go. Mm. I'll be cheering for you. That's not it. Himiko, you need to come too. We left the gym in high spirits. Right. Why is there one last hammer left? I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. The last two masterminds are twist endings. This movie is, least, is the least likely. I love how everyone's just like spitballing theories in the chat. I love that. I took the final electric hammer and left the gym. Oh yeah, that's for Suichi. <sighs> Let's get to going! Yahoo! It's been so long since we've been down there, hasn't it? And then... Yeah, yeah, This way. Speaking of Suichi, where is the... Where is the PG Suichi? Pre-game Suichi. I don't know where he went. I guess we'll see soon. Oh yeah, it's behind the school, isn't it? Yep, and it's gone. Kibo? Um, Kibo, what's wrong? You're not going to head downstairs? Suichi! Suichi, I have a favor I'd ask you. This hammer disables electronic machines, right? Could it be. Are you concerned that it will disable you too? Well, of Why, of course I'm curious! The outcome will settle once and for all how me you perceive me. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea to test that. Remember the hydraulic press? Besides, it's supposed to use a lot of energy. We shouldn't waste it. A waste, huh? I see. It would be a waste. Yes, we shouldn't be wasteful. Also, why is this place the only place in the area that hasn't been, like, cleaned up? 
Like everywhere else, like it's been repaired, de-weeded, like all the grass is gone, trees and whatnot. This is the only place that hasn't been like cleaned up. So, so we're less pout. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Suichi. All right, let's do this. All right. All right, let's get started. What should we do? Are we really gonna be okay? What are you afraid of? Of course it's gonna be okay, right? Actually... You seem anxious too, Himiko. Huh. I imagine Kokichi saying, but Kibo's waist... Oh my god. He would say that, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> There's no need to worry. Of course it's gonna be a little dangerous, but... We got all these ultimates here. If we all work together, everything will be alright. Oh. Those words. Yeah. yeah, we can finally fulfill Kaede's wish. Oh yeah. So let's all work together hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, why don't we all stay friends? That's right. Yes, we made a promise together. That's right. A promise to work together to get out of here and become friends. I see. Now is the time to fulfill that promise. Hmm. I'll cheer for you guys. I told you. I, you need to do it too. That's right. That's exactly right. To keep the promise I made to Kaede. I will never give up. I can't give up. <sighs> it's Kaede dead, Kaito, Kaede. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's Kaede. I've come this far. I have no choice but to believe. With the hammer that Mew invented, I know we can do it. I have to believe that. I kept repeating that to myself as I stepped into the tunnel. Oh, the music's different now. Alright. Oh, that's cool! That's so- Wait, nope! Oh shit! Oh my god! There were actual, like, voice lines. I remember I did this and, and there was, it was completely silent because, um... I forgot that I accidentally turned off the voices. Sorry, I'm late. Just got for it. It's fine, Gundam. It's fine. Woo! Hey! No! I guess I'll go. Oh god! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Yeah. Oh shit! Don't don't you dare! That scared the fuck out of me. No, no. Leave it to me, everyone. What? what you oh, we we just hit the coins with a hammer. I'm so stupid. Oh shit. Ow. I swear to God, if I die. Ah. Yeah. Reminder, I am an idiot. Y'all just hang on. We're not done yet. I am not giving up just yet. I may be stupid, but I'm also stubborn. I'm gonna keep going until I win this. I can, I can get rid of the bombs too. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing to myself? Oh. Get running, right? Yeah. What the? This is it for me. Time to do my best. No! Oh come the fuck on, how? I swear to God. Running. Whoa. I swear to God, if y'all die from that. Okay, 
Okay, we're good. We're all good here. Dead. 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 I'm actually doing it! Has anyone seen that TikTok where Himiko says, I may be stupid, I may be stubborn, but I'm also bad at maths? <laughs> I've never seen that. Oh my god. I gotta find that at some point. Holy shit. Not today, bitch! There's gotta be something else. You know? I swear to God. Please tell me I don't have to run. Ooh. That works too, I guess. Oh, hey, what's this? I guess we made it. Why is there a screen here, though? Finally, we made our way out of the tunnel. It was so long. We thought we were... We had no... <sighs> Can't read. We thought there was no end. But there was an end indeed. And in the end, there was... Another alarm system? Is this an exit? That's right. It seems like it. Look there. Oh, my! Oh, it's a door! On the other side of that door! Got it. Yeah, it's probably the outside world. Yeah, we did it! We can finally escape! No. Don't get your hopes up. We need to know if this is actually the outside world. Sorry. You're right. We don't know what that the outside world looks like now. Huh. <laughs> it's fine. Monokuma was probably just lying to us. The skies over this academy are normal, so the meteorites are probably gone. Maki Slay. Everything's fine out of oh. here. Out there. Anyway, let's open that door. We'll have plenty of time to talk afterwards. Hmm? That looks similar to the electronic barrier from in front of the Exiso hangar. Unless we disable that, we won't be able to open that door. All right. Let's look around. Let's see. Nothing else to interact with here. Could it be... This is a control panel for the barrier. If it's like the one in the Exesal hangar, I should be able to disable the barrier with the passcode. Hmm? A password? Does anyone know it? Huh. <laughs> we don't need that. Yeah. If this electronic... If it's electronic, we can... We gotta destroy it with these hammers. Fun fact, Ibuki... Miyota English VA is also Tenko Chai, Chai Shibara, well, and her birthday was last Friday. Really? I didn't know that. That's cool. Okay. It seems this lock is controlled electronically, so we can use the Electro Hammer to open it. Alright! Alright! Let's destroy this control panel with the hammers and open this big dumb gate! Then everything will be over! We can say goodbye to this academy and this killing game! That's true. Slay, Maki, slay. Finally, this death game is going to end. Yeah. Yes, at last we can return to our normal lives. Normal lives. Beyond this door is our normal, peaceful, boring lives. Are you sure? We'll be able to go home to this, to those normal lives. I'm feeling this is foreshadowing. The secret of the outside world couldn't be that awful, right? Let's go! Let's go! It's finally time to graduate from this academy of lies. I know, right? Plus, I FaceTimed with Wendy Lee, Lee aka Akane Owari, and Miyui Rumi on Saturday. Plus, she led my fan art. Oh, that's really cool! <laughs> Smash it down into the control panel. You ready for this? Lock disabled. Ah. Yay, the door's unlocked! Right. Now let's get out! Let's got... Blech. Get read. Now we just gotta open this gate! Let's all work together! Yes, we can do it! Right, right. Finally! Finally!
Finally, we can get out! We all ran to the door, and with our own hands, with our own strength. I have the feeling there will be a group of emo people like Suichi. Aw, oh, Bean. We opened that door. Our dude of the future. Ah, boy, here we go. A future of hope and despair. Shock and horror. Yep. There it is. <laughs> We're fucked. The truth is out there. I got an achievement. <laughs> Holy shit, the faces. What is this? What's going on? What is this? I can't breathe. Ah! I, I can't breathe. What? The door is now locked. Barely consciousness. We heard, we heard a sound in our heads. What? What happened? No oh, life! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah, same here, honestly. Congrats! You finished the killing game! K Kokichi? Are you okay? Get it together! It wouldn't be funny if you died here, you know? See? Your lives are pretty precious, very precious to humanity. Huh? But humanity? <laughs> well then, the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. I shook my head, dizzy. The ground spun under me, but I managed to get to my feet. And at the same time, <laughs> what was that just now? What's going on? On the other side of that door was. Yeah. Where, where even are we? What in the world is going on? Hey. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys feeling? Terrible? <laughs> of course you guys are, because you know now the truth of the outside world. Huh? The truth of the outside world? <laughs> you saw it, right? Oh, excuse me. The outside world you guys so desperately longed for doesn't exist. What are you talking about? What do you mean it doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? Okay. Everything began with that despair came falling from the sky. Who made Sanugi cry, I'll kill them. Avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Please, wait! Hold on! The end of the world? What are you talking about? Jeez, you better not interrupt me again, or I'm gonna, or I'm not gonna tell you anything. Got that? But, um, Kibo, we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on where we left off. The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race, so they decided to implement a plan: the Gopher Project. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end. Wait a fucking minute. So that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. I admit it, I'm a robophobe? Why? The Gover Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the ultimate students. Of course. But the sixteen students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? That's just hell right there. So then, the 16 students decided to flee from the project. 
So that's why there's the ultimate hunt. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents to become normal students. <laughs> but it was around that time a certain cult organization rose into power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died. Huh. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. Well, this kind of puts a dent in my, uh, Rantaro being the ultimate, ultimate hunter plan. But then, what is he? The ultimate despair? There's no way, right? The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. The 16 ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. How exciting! And that arc is the true identity of this academy! Huh? What? The ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. Oh my god. You know what's funny? When I was streaming the first game, I said in one of the VODs that I had a hypothesis that the Academy was actually in space. I did not think that that would come to fruition in some way. Holy shit! But how? This whole Academy is one giant spaceship colony? What are you saying? What? You really think I believe that? <laughs> hold, oh, hold on now. This story isn't done yet. By the way, don't you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened in the, on the Ark? Humanity's last hope. Which means... Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. That's... A horrible person hiding among us. Ah. Shit. That's the one I meant to press. Among the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? What? Wait a minute. Or maybe... Maybe? How exciting! It was the leader of the cult organization I'm trying to crush the Gopher Project! So maybe Rantaro is the ultimate, ultimate hunter. And they hid among the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on this ship. Yeah. Yep, that robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed in a, to a state of cold sleep. And we're only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Hmm. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And they are now here. Hold up. If we return to Earth, that means... What you guys just saw? That's Earth now. W what did you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years. While we were in cold sleep. Holy shit. An Earth destroyed by meteorites. Without oxygen or living creatures. An Earth without any cities. Or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means... There's no place for you bastards to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore! The Despair Remnants really had a field day. Damn it. The Despair Remnants? Okay. Does it exist? Yeah. The Earth and humans had died out ages ago, except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Oh. Well, last seven survivors of humanity. It's a lie! That's a lie! It's definitely a lie! Yeah. I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know? So that means... Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Huh? 
Huh? Anyway. Which means the mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is... <laughs> Holy fucking shit, that face! Me! But how? Kokichi? You're the mastermind? I didn't want to just crush the Gopher Project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst way possible. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. What could possibly wor be worse than the last 16 survivors of humanity killing each other? What? What? You... It's a lie! It's a lie! It's all gotta be a lie! Uh. Oh, you want me to lie now? But you guys want... You know, always told me not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the irrefutable evidence that I am the mastermind. Okichi took what looked like a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols? Oh... What's going on? I thought only the Monocubs could control the Exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. Well, that kinda... Fox. That, that, that fucks up everything. Then. So you really are the mastermind? Don't tell me. You're always suspicious from the start, but for you to be the mastermind? Oh, man. You look like you don't believe me, Suichi. I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. How boring. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see when you guys would figure it out. What is it? Hint? You left that message for this? Maybe. But I guess that precious hint went to waste. All because you bastards trusted each other, huh? Huh? Hmm. I told you! You guys shouldn't doubt- should have doubted each other more. You guys could have realized that I was the mastermind earlier, and there would have been less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaede had the right idea to try and kill the mastermind at the start. <laughs> Too bad, though. If only she had killed me then, the killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the truth of the killing game. Well, this turned out not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know? Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? We Were we just being led around by you this whole time? You mad? Oh, you mad? So what are you going to do about it? Shut up! Shut up! Of course I'm mad! Always messing around. Don't think you've won just because you've got the exorcists on your side. Because we've got the electro hammers. What? What's happening? Wow. Oh, typical Kaito. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. What? The electro hammer? At that moment, his electro hammer powered down, and not just Kaito's. Every electro hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. I told you, didn't I? Excuse me? The problem is that it runs out of batteries pretty quickly. But... But that lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. Did no. you calculate that too? My bad. Sorry, Kaito. Your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Please don't. Don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know. You can't resurrect the dead, and you can't turn Earth back to normal. Right? right. Always messing around. Even if that is the case. Don't screw around. I can't get over it if I don't punch you! Kaito! Kaito, wait! I tried to stop Kaito before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. <gasps> Jeez, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop it! Oh, fuck. Bamaki's scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaito charged at the Exesols! And was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exesols' hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. <laughs> These Exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. <laughs> I love how you guys are just 
calling out Kai, uh, Kokichi on his bullshit. Yeah, seriously, what were you thinking, Kaito? Oh no. Give Kaito, huh? Maki? Give, it back. Give Kaito back! Her eyes screaming murder. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved towards them. Maki. No, Maki, even if you. Let go. Do you want to die? Uh, Maki! It's no use. I won't let go! Even if you kill me, I can't let go! Maki dropped my husband! <laughs> oh my god. Please, Maki! Shuichi. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, what? Suichi. But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. <laughs> They're all solved. You don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Ending? What did you say? If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed and we're the last humans left, <laughs> what are we supposed to do from now on? How about doing anything you want? Yeah? yeah. I know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. You're so full of shit. <laughs> That's why I wanted to reveal the truth! I wanted to see utter despair on your faces! Yeah. Yeppers, I'm totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want! Wait, hold on. You were the one that started all this. That's so irresponsible. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that, too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Add it to the Ultra Despair Girls. <laughs> oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means... So anyway, the killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. Huh? I... don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaito? Ah. Oh, I just wanted to chill out for a bit. Half-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. Sadly, that is true. Question: Is there, is there an op is there an optional bad ending like Ultra Despair Goals and Trigger Happy Havoc? I don't know if that's the case for this game, but maybe. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means... Anyway, Suichi, can I have the Exosol Hangers alarm remote back? Huh? What? See? I was thinking that it'd be perfect... be the perfect place to keep Kaito in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Suichi. Suichi! Hand it over, Suichi. You bastard. Don't give it to him! Well, no. You know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? This school is mine! I am the king! <laughs> I love the way he said that. I Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. I don't know who specifically voiced uh, Kokichi, but god damn it if they did, they did, they did such a good job. I also think it's the same voice actor who did uh, the Yakuza guy in the second game. I forget his name. Yes, this world is mine. Holy shit, five viewers. Sorry. Sorry, Maki. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Thanks. If you finish the little mini game to escape first opportunity. So that's what happens? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, thanks. Kokichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us and left. He left us there with the truth. The truth of our despair. Oh.
Well... Shit, what now? fight back. I can't do it. <laughs> Are you okay? Yumiko? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Am I okay? How can I be okay? The outside world! Everything's destroyed! Everyone's dead! <laughs> Everyone at school! Everyone in my neighborhood! They're all dead! Uh. Calm down, Himiko. What am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living on anymore. Which means... The Ultimate Academy is... a spaceship. And we're the 16 survivors of humanity. Unfortunately... This killing game we've been playing. Why pit the rem remnants of humanity against each other? For a world that no longer exists. <laughs> And the mastermind who engineered all this and is forcing us to participate is Kokichi. Oh no! Ugh, I can't. My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Me too. Uh, um... Sumuki, are you okay? She's got a thousand yard stare. It's no use talking to her right now. The whole truth was revealed. The conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left alive. Trying to get outside was pointless. And we played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Nonsense. So, what did all the others die for, then? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the despair that Conta felt. So much despair you want to die. It really is just like that. <laughs> if it's like this, it would have been better if I died a lot earlier. <laughs> then, it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death. No more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is... Y'all should have just died a long time ago. That's... fucked up, man. Holy shit. The f I, I, the first game already had a similar plot with like the outside world being in disarray, but nothing like this. At least in the first game, there was some hope that we could, they could, that humanity could be rebuilt, but this? Holy fuck, man. Like, imagine being the only humans in like a small group of humans that survived. Everything you knew and loved just completely gone with the wind. And you and a few other people are the only ones left. How would that feel? I'm getting a little too existential, I'm sorry. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. Before I knew it, I felt my body in bed, numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair. But the sleep came anyway. Ah, jeez. We're really doing this right now? <clears throat> Did you know that when you talk to someone on a cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? 
their voice is converted to synthetic sound while you're both communicating. By breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone reassembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavor! The only difference is the aroma and the food coloring dye. Do you think these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? <laughs> what would the world be if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would be a very lonesome world. Lies that are... No, lies are what make the world go round. I forgot to ask what are your pronouns. Uh, she, her. Thank you for asking, by the way. This was supposed to be my time to shine. Where am I? I was supposed to get more screen time than this with those damn kids, Dad. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point in morning announcements now. So, it's really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore. Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 This is an epilogue. All this less is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. What is happening? Shit, dude. Like... Yeah, I know. I had no idea. I wonder what Kaito is doing. Uh, okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaito is okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working and my body... Jesus Christ! Oh my god, look at all the junk Monokumas! <laughs> Holy shit! If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong! Your life doesn't need a meaning, it just needs a purpose! In other words, you just need something to live for! You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games! Like this dipshit right here! Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, I couldn't be happier! <laughs> it's been a real pleasure doing business with you! My god, they're they're really keeping this up. Holy shit. <sighs> Still no Monokuma. It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up or I might not ever give up again. I... I don't care. If I just kill my... Huh? What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Oh. Ah! So much surprised that I even managed to get out of bed, I went to uh, the door. Um... Could it be... Maki, Sumugi, Kaito, Ki Kokichi. I won't take Kokichi at this point. Just fucking something happened that isn't just despair. Please. On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and... Oh my god, it's Maki. You look terrible. Uh, um... Maki? Hey. Go take a shower or something. Anything to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Maki spoke curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining hall? Uh, um... I guess I should go. See, he's emo. <laughs> You're right. I hurried and took a sh hot shower and then left my room. I didn't 
I don't know what I can add to this, man. I just... I'm just baffled at this point. I mean, I honestly should have seen this coming, but... Holy fuck. Like, I don't know what to say. What could possibly happen? Everyone was in the dining hall, besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. Did you know that Himiko, Anji, and Tenko's dorm rooms are by each other? I did not know that. Himiko, Anji, and Tenko. Holy shit. Everyone here looks terrible. Really? Even I look terrible? Well, your face always looks like that. What are we talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? Huh? What? I want to go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about that? Okay. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Is that a flashback light? Oh yeah, I forgot we were supposed to be searching for that. Holy shit. That, show that shows they really cared about each other. It really does, doesn't it? Um, Maki, why do you have that? I see. It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting here? Okichi well, probably just put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps? If we use that flashback light, we may recover memories that corroborate his story. So we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth of Kokichi told us? We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but we should check this flashback light first. Huh? What? Yeah. Why do we have to do that? Because. It's the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it's dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So let's do what we can. <sighs> well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. Yeah. So when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. Then it's decided. Kibo, Suichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> yes. Very well, then. Uh, okay. Y yeah. And thus it was decided. Fairly, painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing can be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Hey. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Maki switched on the flashback light, and at that moment, the world flipped upside down, turned inside out. What? Oh, there's Hope Speak Academy. Oh, the biggest was awful. Oh my god, they fucking referenced that. Those cheeky bastards. That's... That's it! I remember! Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected. Holy shit! It all started at that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak Academy. And the event that tore that school apart changed the world. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. My fucking god! I never thought I'd hear that again. It triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. The ultimate despair? Junko and Ashima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. 
But after Junko Inoshima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done sowing chaos. Oh, wait a minute. Am I crazy or... Yeah, that's probably... The way those outfits look, they look like um, some of the characters from the second game. <laughs> the Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then that they we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. Oh my god, it's, it's the opening song! One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Virus? Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, humanity deserved damnation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Ma Makoto Naegi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy. Holy shit! Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That is the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began, and 16 Hope's, Pe and 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. Holy shit! We were those 16. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope Speak Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was the like the last it was like the last in that it accepted applicants from talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school. So we were so we we're all in separate classes, but we were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because no, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. The mysterious virus and the me meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. I'm just realizing just how um Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Suichi! This is like a sci fi version of 2020. What the fuck? The entire world was on the brink of extinction. The fire! Oh my god! Same brain cell! Holy shit! Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. But we just happened to be immune to the virus. That was the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. Oh my god, it's 2020 mixed with Left 4 Dead. <laughs> I finally remembered. That world, this world, it's all connected. That's it. Everyone, did you all remember? Yes. Yes, I can vividly recall everything now. Yeah, why? How could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. We were the symbols of hope entrusted with sur the survival of humanity. Except for one person, Kokechi Oma, the master behind behind this killing game, his organization's real identity. How are you guys? He is happy here. I don't know. I don't know, but it's something. They were the remnants of despair. That's right. That's right. Oh. Didn't know there was voice acting. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. I still feel like it's bullshit, you know? It's so obvious. A killing a game like this can only be done by the remnants of despair. Oh, I didn't mean to fuck with the ball. Just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships 
just the ultimate despair would replicate that tone thing. Which means... Which means that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mires hope and dark despair. Wait, Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? That's also something that the Remnants of Despair would do. They admired Junko and Oshima, right? Excuse me. He made an elaborate plan to cause us, us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Jeez. Wanting to feel the despair of your plan being ruined? That's the ultimate despair for you. Hey! What's wrong, Magi? So what? Nothing. I'm just not convinced. It's okay. It's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Are you sure? We finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Hey, everyone! No! We need to become that hope! What's wrong? Huh? What's with all you- What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I just realized Angie spread out her arms in the photo where everyone was- there, including Kaiden. Kai Stop calling her Kaiden, dude! But yeah. Oh my god, ow! I'm sorry, sitting in this chair for, for too long starts to hurt. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? If I must. If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope's Peak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. But no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what is urging me to do. Leave it to me. So I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I will move forward with hope. Kibo is becoming the ultimate hope, aka Nagito. Stop hanging out with the Antags, T-Boy. Stop. Oh, Bean. Okay. Kibo. Listen closely. Right now, there is no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. I see. That's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the New Hope's Peak Academy, rebuilt as the symbol of hope. Yeah. If we, the students of Hope's Peak Academy, give up, the world really will be plunged into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm going to live till the end and never give up. You won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Hmm. It's a pain, but it will be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. Guys. You're right. You're right. Let's do it. All right. Let's fight together. Against despair. Yes. yes, as long as we stand together, without giving into despair, we will find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We each felt the hope, power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy. A tree of life with roots down deep. It was supporting each and every one of us. Okay, I love... Yeah, I... His inner voice is his conscious, which in a way could be inferred as Atua. Yeah. Actually, what if it is just Atua? Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god. It was supporting each and every one of us. And that's it. this is great and all. I'm glad y'all have your hope. But what the fuck are we supposed to do now? Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, it just clicked in my head. The virus. Does Kaito have that virus? Must not spoil, must not spoil. <laughs> Guy, I feel that urge, Guy Gus, to be fair. Does, Ko does Kaito have that virus? Then what explain why he's been coughing up blood? Holy shit. <laughs> Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> <laughs> this is the power of hope. With a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> is that really a bad thing in this case? Kokichi may have left that flashback light to make us give up. But if that it was his plan, it failed. It's true, it does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey! Ah, so what's our plan now? What are we gonna do about Kokichi? That's right. 
We gotta stop you know who, the remnant of despair, or this despair will never end. Okay. We have to save Kaito too. You're right. Yeah, of course. You're right. He's so stupidly positive. He's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. With Kaito by our side, encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. I knew that even in a situation like this, he's, he'd think of something. The problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaito? Okay. They're in the Exiso hangar. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped in there, but... Okay. By chance, I happened to see Hokichi leaving the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? By chance? Really? Right, right! I bet the truth is, is you were worried about Kaito and were watching the hangar all day. There, she has a crush, I'm telling you. Well, looks like that was the case. Yeah, it's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. But Bakas, I just had nothing else to do. I'm so sorry. I thought that would be funnier, but saying it out loud, goddammit. Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop, stop! stop. We were just getting mushies, but you had to make it all bloody instead. 100%. We know where the Uggsies will hang her, but how do we get them out? By the way, the hangar has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has the alarm remote key to shut off that alarm system. And there's also an electric barrier, right? We need to do something about that, too. Yes. yes, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm, too. Well, there is one other thing. Yeah, so many problems from the start. What should we do? It's okay. It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? I bet she does. Share with us, Maki. Uh, How do you plan to get past the alarm system and barrier? Okay. With the Electro Hammer. Well, if you hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing to the electric lock on the exit to the outside world. But, but it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to use the Electro Hammer. Suichi ah Ahoge says Kaito might die and I will... One, I don't know what number that is, cry. What's that whole guy? The alarm system will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. That's true. And we will use this. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. What's an Ahuge? The thing on top of his head. Oh! <laughs> the cowlick. I get it. Is that? <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though. Even if it's called an electro bomb, it jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, and any and all electronic devices will, within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too. Since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. What? Yeah, actually, yeah, I would love to do that, Gaga. Why would you have that, Maki? There were only three, and I thought Koichi had them. I stole it from his pocket. Fucking slay, Maki! Okay. During that time, as expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. The, the terrifying glare part was a joke, so can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? <laughs> oh, I love this game's writing. Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. You can use that electro bond to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it will disable all the communication. Okay. That should include the remote control Kokichi uses for the Exisols. 100%. If we use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> then Kokichi will be he has good as butt as good as butt naked? What? Then Kokichi will be as good as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crotch and run. No. But he might still be able to control an Exisol from inside. Oh my. But 
naked? <laughs> so technically you don't end your streams until a body discovery happens. Sorry, I started watching and Neo dies. Yeah, when it comes to Danganronpa, I always end it um, when, an, when a body disco is discovered and after a trial, so... Yeah, that's usually the pattern I go with when it comes to Danganronpa. It's worked so far, so I've been kind of just sticking with that. No, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. Then he should bring the Electro Hammers as a precaution against the Exi Souls. Yeah, dang. I just left mine sitting around without charging sorry. it. Uh, sorry, but I did too. Hmm. It takes 24 hours to charge an Electro Hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? We're going to wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hangar? Um, we don't really have a choice, do we? Without the Electro Hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Maki, I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary. But we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone is ready. That's true. Fine. That's what we'll do then. This time we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait! No, Maki, you can't. Even if you see the remnant of despair, that doesn't... That but if we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. No. But you can't! I understand how you feel, Maki, but we'd... We'd feel bad after we killed him. Don't! It would be no different than the killing game that caused so much suffering. Yeah! Yeah, that's the sort of thing the Remnants of the Despair or Kira would want. Okay. No, Himiko becoming Miyu. <laughs> Not Himiko becoming Miyu. No, Himiko is becoming better than Miyu. She's a witch! But Kaito said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't. Okay, okay. Fine, if everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Yeah. But if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Oh. Oh, wow, Maki's actually reliable? No. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. A <laughs> heated Maki roll. Oh my god, that's so cute. If a Maki roll gets too heated, you can burn your tongue. Did, did, did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at pr this prey. Ah, you may have deserved that, Himiko. Come on, it was cute. But it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And this... And it's thanks to Maki. While we were sed sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her, she promised to work hard to do her best. Of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. Got a minute? What are you looking at? Sorry. Ah, sorry. Hey. Let's do our best. Then the three of us can train together again. Uh, okay. God, I hope so. Am I the only... Am I the only Samugi simp that has played the whole game and trying not to spoil it because it's just drama for the chapter 5 to chapter 6? Uh, I don't know. I Maybe? I mean, I like her, but... I eh, never really had any, um, I guess, simp moments for any of the characters. Not that I can recall anyways. I could be wrong and I could have like had a moment in one of the VODs where I simped for someone, but I don't know. I am dumb. We finalized our plans to get into the Exodus Hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we would wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish the preparations. We split up, focused, and determined. This is like... I haven't done a stream like this in a long time where I haven't taken any breaks. All right. First, we need to charge the Electro Hammer. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for the lost time. Yeah, I swear to God, if he dies, I'm going to be pissed. There has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Suichi. But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity... They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. No, that's not true. There has to be something I can right. do. Right, I should scout the area. It would be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaito. He's hurt and he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I 
have to. Okay. All right, I'll go. Oh, uh, <laughs> I saw the, the the electro hammer, and for some reason, I thought that was a hidden Monokuma, like one of these. Oh my god, I missed so many hidden Monokumas. Oh my god. Kaede dead is the true detective. Stop calling her Kaede dead. It's actually fine if you want to call her that. I'm just like doing it for a bit. Don't worry. It's fine. It's all good. Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi. Um, you must rescue Kaito no matter what. If we're to if we're to defeat the despair and find a new hope for ourselves, I'm certain we'll need him by our side. Yeah, you're right. It was thanks to Kaito that we were all working together again. All right. Let's save Kaito and Sako Kichi together. This is the beginning of our new hope. So the uh, courtyard, correct? That's where I need to go? Okay, without spoiling anything, how close are we to the, to the next dead body? Because I'm very hungry and I want to step outside for a sec to get something to eat, but I, but I feel like if I take a break now, I might like take a break and then we'll be at the end of the stream anyways so how close are we to the next like uh trial specifically very close okay so i won't i won't take a break just yet i just want to be sure because again i'm very hungry i haven't eaten anything in a while so i figured i'd uh i would take a break but if we're this close to the end to the, the end of the stream then yeah i think there's really no point in taking a break It is say there's a good chance the eggs are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. I knew there was a fucking reason this place looked like a maze. Who misses Kirumi dead? I do. Like Kirum, Kirum dead? Kirumi? Which one was Kirumi again? God damn, I've already forgotten. I'm I'm bad at remembering names. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, there they are. Ah, shit. Huh? Huh? Monokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Exesils protecting him? But why now? And why all four of them? Kokichi is controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the Exesils are here, they aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance! I should hurry, but be careful. I don't want to draw attention. Feeling this is foreshadowing. The, the maid, yeah, sorry. Thank you. But yeah, I do miss her, honestly. I think she was one of the more underappreciated characters. There's gonna be one that drops from this area, I can feel it. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four Exesils. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window here. There. Oh, that's the point of this dead end. I miss Anja. Oh. <laughs> are you just putting dead at the end of all the characters' names that are dead? <laughs> Freaking goober. Anj dead. That's Anji and Tenko. Anji, yes. Tenko, well, I miss her, but, uh, I mean, <sighs> I, I still miss her, but God damn it. She was a bit of a, a bit of a douche, honestly. I don't mean to sound like a dick. I'm really sorry. There's a window. The bathroom window? Can I see inside from there? I peeked into the small window and saw a silhouette on the other side. Ah! What are you 
you're doing here? Kaito! Don't shout, stupid. Kokichi will hear us. Uh, is he close by? No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. Yeah, Rintaro... She did everything she could to get you back. He did not get nearly enough screen time in this game. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. Also, can you hear the dog barking in the background? Yeah, you can. God damn it. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. Fuck yeah, dude. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. Also, didn't you say to come to, sh to... Ella Melon's assemble? <laughs> All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. There's something I wanted to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just, I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. It's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gon- Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? It feels good to hear you say that again, man. <laughs> While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone, especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. Hope lives on, after all. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi. Why do we get the feeling that's a spoiler? Is that a spoiler? Kaito, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. Alright, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. After leaving Kaito with a smile, I return to my room. Okay, good. Hmm. There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I'm trying to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle. Okay, I'm good. This hunger is really starting to get to me. I'll be right back. I will be right back. No need for that. I'm already back. Oh. Hold on.
they already made dinner, so there was garlic bread outside. I had one of those, and I got myself a nanner. My God, I was hungry. Mm. While I was meditating on it, it became nighttime before I knew it. And dude, Uh, um, also, you're such a goober. Ow. He's an avocado, and that's a banana. They were friends. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't worry. There's a whole bunch over there. We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaito has taught me All that. Right. Mm, excuse me. I have to do it. To live to find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled deep in my heart. Hmm. <clears throat> I freaking love the movie references they have for Monokuma and Monotaro Theater. Not Monotaro, Mono Dom Theater. <clears throat> <laughs> Gotta get the warm up! Don't panic! Just stay calm and listen! Well, if you're watching this Monokuma Theater segment, it's already too late! You kids might not know, but it's a 100% cotton mascot like me! Hope is. Well, the thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive, watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more despair inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other, it makes me oh so sad. Oh, how, oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces Soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. Okay, so you're as close as I thought. Like in three or four minutes, it depends. Okay, thanks for letting me know. After that empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. Alright, All right, here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed the charged electro hemi and ran out of my room. Let's do this! I just got a I just got a, a, a Discord DM from Gaiga. Soon I will know despair like no other. That is I'm using this as L guide. EO? L? -L? Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's very, um... That's very... That's very scary, Gaiga. Just for the record. That's very... That's very terrifying. And... I have a feeling this is foreshadowing. Oh, my favorite! Not the right one. <laughs> Well, I'm here! Everyone! Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course! My Electro Hammer is all recharged! <clears throat> At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their Electro Hammer. See, they use singular they, them all the time in, in stuff like this. Hmm. Maki, where's your Electro Hammer? Yeah. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is much better. Oh, yeah, she said she was gonna kill him. Uh, <clears throat> a knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey! Then we're off! Hey. Uh, before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted the hangar yesterday. You scouted the hangar? Okay. Yes, and I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. The bathroom? I see. That certainly is the best place to lock someone up. I remember correctly. And I also saw. Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar being protected by four Exesouls. 
that all right? So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted. <gasps> oh, I saw that too. What? You saw that? Are you at the hangar too, Kibo? Maki better not die and Kaito better not die. I I, I want high Maki moments. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. Yes. Yes, I thought maybe I could get through the Kokichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. What? You tried to talk to him on your own? Well. I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But, but I did witness a few things. Huh? What? What did you witness? Well. We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. So either Kaito's gonna die, or Kokichi's gonna die, or something's gonna happen that's, that's neither of those things, and I'm gonna be very sad. I'm back for dinner. Hey Gundam, just in time too. There's more numbers, but I'm lazy about that. <laughs> you bean. We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. No. Shuichi saw four Exesos that appear to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes. Yes, the green Exesol. If I remember the green correctly. one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I... <clears throat> Hell yeah. I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the Exesol's presence. Maybe. Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the Exesols? That's right. Considering it's where the Exesos are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Mm. Anyway, there are two Exesos in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since this is our only Electro Bomb, we can't afford to miss. You're right. That's exactly right. Mm. Well then, we're off for real this time! Everyone! Let's go! We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what! I'm super excited! But also terrified! Mostly excited! Energized and motivated, the group rushed out of the dining hall one after another. All right. All right. Here I go! Yahoo! Yeah, I can't wait either. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. I discover that if you if you uh walk if you run diagonally you actually go faster. Like check this out. This is normal speed. This is diagonal speed. Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. It shouldn't be late. Uh, huh? Huh? not here. He should have been protected by the Exe Souls. And the Exe Souls... They don't look like they're going to move. What's going on? And there are only three of them? There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. It's just like Kibo said. We should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. If all five of them are here, it'd be impossible to execute the plan. Alright, all right, let's keep moving. Pitter patter, 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 pitter patter. Stay safe in there, you goddamn cocky bastard. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter. Well done. I don't like where this is going. Oh. I don't like where this is going. There we go. I'm gonna milk that every chance I get. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. Mm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Maki, are you ready with the electro bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this into the front of the shutter, it should disable the alarm system. That's obvious. This won't fail. Mm. The electro bombs have an effective range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If Kokichi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the Exe Souls. Right. Let's talk Kokichi before he gets into the Exe Soul. But be ready for the worst. We might have to use the Electro Hammers. If he gets into the, that Exe Soul, I'll stop him with his hammer. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. What's the matter? What's wrong, Makiro? We're all ready to start, you know. That's true. Yeah, all right. Then let's go. Let's do this. Maki triggered the electro bomb, then rolled it in front of the shutter, and then. Let's do this. The alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi. Shuichi, will you do the honors? Leave it to me. All right, leave it to me. Let's fucking do this. Wait, why is it all scratched up? Wait, 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 All right, if I hit the control panel with this, as I swung the electric hammer, I suddenly noticed. Huh? Huh? It's a, is it okay if I share this on my Twitter account? Go ahead, dude, it's fine. Damage controller? Suspiciousness. The control panel was covered in marks as if damaged by something sharp. What are you trying to Sweetie, what are you doing? Hurry up. Okay. S sorry, I got it. No time to think now. I ain't my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. What's gonna happen? Oh my. The electric barrier turned off! Everyone! Let's go! We all ran to the shutter at once. Right. We won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore! <gasps> you better be ready! This is it! All right. The remnants of despair end here and now! Let's look, yeah. After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. To end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. Oh my god. Holy shit! What? The... Fuck! <laughs> A body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar! <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going! The despair's not over yet! What is this? What's going on? Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much to spare. Yeah. What? Is that blood? It can't be. The body discovery announcement. Does that mean someone's in that press? What? Who? <laughs> The only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. Kaito. It must be one of them. What? Either Kokichi or Kaito is dead? Oh, look! There's his sleeve right there. Huh? Those clothes! There's... Kaito. What did you say? And the one that... Hydraulic presses. No, it's not possible. Hi, bitches! You enjoying this absolute despair? <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. Extreme. That's what the killer game is all about, after all. And so, I will now pass out. Monokuma file! Nice. Don't say you're getting bored of this, cause things are about to get interesting! I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation too! 
Like artist lemonade! Ten points to anyone who gets that reference. <sighs> Hold on! We have to investigate! So the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue? If the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, then it means the mastermind Kokichi is still alive. Uh, what was that? Kokichi is still alive, and that means the one dead over there is. Uh, Kaito? That's wrong. No, that's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaito could die. It has to be a lie. I made a run for the body when. Uh -huh. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? Come down? How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is... I have seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait! It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right. I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. He ran away! We need to catch him immediately! He's obviously the culprit! Let's split up and look for him! Leave no stone unturned! No matter how good hide and seek he is, he can't let him get away no. with this. Wait! We can't leave yet. Okay. We don't know for certain if that dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? And if Kaito is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. It's impossible! I don't think Kaito could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually... It says real slash fiction. Oh my god. And his opponent, the mastermind you know, the killing game, could control the exorcist at will. How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know. I just... I'm just saying it's possible. And, and even if it is Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaito is the culprit. So, so does that mean the culprit is one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible! No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying you're a suspect is going too far! I understand what they mean. The initial evidence is just Kaito is dead. I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. Neither do I, man. What the fuck? I can't believe Kaito is dead. Um. Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal that truth in this trial. Don't tell me. So, you want to continue the killing game? Because... The class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts here. You're an impressive detective through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something beyond it. That's right. I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaito. You're right. <clears throat> You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. Yeah, but we already know the answer. What? But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... My main concern is how Kokichi will react. If we accuse him of being the culprit. Mm. If he plays just... he'll If he just plays dumb and runs away, there's no, well, be nothing we can do. But... No, I don't think so. Junko and Oshima cherish the killing game rules. So if the remnants of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore this. I don't think they'd ignore this. Mm. Then it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah. Yeah, that's true! I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Well then, well then let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yeah. They don't even give us who died? Then there's no fucking way he's dead. Or at least it's possible that he might not be dead. I I don't want to believe he's dead. 
The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentified in bubble. Yeah, that's it? That doesn't tell us anything! The identity of the victim is unknown. It doesn't even tell us that much? I don't care. It doesn't matter. You already know who the victim and the culprit are. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki. It's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but... but... Kaito told me... Oh my god, yeah, the shit, I forgot. They they did the same thing in the first game. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All of you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I'm... I want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? Huh? What? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now, you're acting like Kaito back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like that at the time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Well then, let's find the truth! <laughs> When's next week's stream? Next week. Maki turned her back on me and left. Maki... So it's either going to be, uh, next, su next Monday or, no, not next Monday. It, it depends on when I'm free, because usually I would stream on, uh, Sundays, but my job took away my Sundays, so I might have to either stream on, on whatever time is available next week. But I'll, but I'll make a community, community post about that if y'all want. If y'all want, that is. Um... There's something about the air in here that makes me feel off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame, or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. <sighs> but I'm starting to feel so much sick. What? I don't feel that weird at all. Then... It's gotta be because of the electro bomb. Keep us an electronic appliance after all. <laughs> Do not call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <laughs> really, I'm fine. But I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Kibo left the hangar swaying side to side a bit. Mm. And I'll... I think I'll start investigating too. Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No, no you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for all of us to investigate by ourselves. Can we go left in a hurry? Oh, he did? Could be. Wait, hang on a second. Holy shit, is that you? Oh my god, it is! Holy shit! Nice! Thank you! Yeah, I have a Tumblr. It uh, should be linked to my About page if you want to see it. I don't usually post my social media stuff on stream. Or on in the description of my streams. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. I wonder if Himiko suspects... Huh? Suspects who? Everyone. Because if there's a fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit not, but not be Kokichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. We were united towards hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaito? Huh? To disrupt our harmony. Because if not, then what's the, what reason could we he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi is going to ho hold this class trial might be separate to us. To separate us. Oh to separate us. We hit the nail on the head, Samugi. Indeed. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaito, we were completely caught in his trap. This is all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. Or is it? 
We're split up. We can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But... No point in standing around complaining. I'll just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Next week! I'll start here. Right, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. Next week, Suichi. You remember the pattern, bud. But yeah, holy shit. Oh yeah, he forgot. We got Kibo's built-in parts. <sighs> My god. That... That was a lot to take in this time around. Holy shit. This is super exciting. Like, oh my god. <sighs> okay, well, I'll see y'all next week. Uh, again, I'll let y'all know when I when my free time is available, and I'll post a, a community post for when I'm going to be streaming. So uh, I'll let you know, know when I get the time. But yeah, holy shit. I'm super excited for this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, what could this possibly mean? I, 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 I need, I need, I can't speculate right now or else I'm going to be ranting about this all freaking night. So I'm going to stop here before I start ranting. Thank you all so much for watching this stream. Holy shit. This has been, this has been some of the most fun streams I've had since I started streaming on YouTube. Holy shit. But man, this is getting good. All right. Again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Ciao!